The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. You're saying they're dead. You're certain of that? A war zone. Coordinated effort on the part of Captain Hunters. Captain America is Black dead. Black Widow is dead. Thor Iron is Man dead. is dead. 30 years ago, on V-Day, the day the villains won, a group of supervillains led by Red Skull, Baron Zemo, and Doctor Doom defeated the vast majority of superheroes. But not all the heroes were killed. A few were left standing. I'm Peter Quill, but you can call me Star-Lord. After decades in space, Quill and Rocket returned to Earth on a mission for the Collector, only to discover that Earth was not what it used to be. During the mission, Quill lost his closest and most trusted friend. Oh, Rocket, no, man. I can't do this without you. Now listen to me. You're gonna do me a favor. You're gonna save the fucking world. In exchange for completing the mission, Quill received a gift from the Collector. What is that? A seed? Not just any, but a very rare seed indeed. Is this the same as Groot? In the years following V-Day, Hawkeye, the sole surviving Avenger, traveled with the Ringmaster Circus, reliving the massacre for paying audiences and drowning in regret. I should have died that day. I was right there watching Captain America fall. Why should I live through that? Why should I be left behind? All for Zemo to laugh in my face. Even his former mentee, Kate Bishop, felt that Clint Barton had gone too far and abandoned him to his obsession with revenge. Clint's been killing the Thunderbolts. Now, he only has one left. The one man responsible for V-Day, responsible for the death of the Avengers, Zemo. Hawkeye succeeded in unmasking Zemo and then turned his focus to finding Kate. Kate's out there somewhere fighting the good fight. She needs someone to watch her back. I'm gonna find Kate. I'll be back. Meanwhile, in Manhattan, Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, arrived undercover in search of her former partner, Yelena Belova. I was the Black Widow. You were? For a long time? Sure. Until the slaughter. You died. A lot of us died. So many, they gave it a name. V-Day. Judy Stark was determined to kill Yelena. Oh, a Makarov 9mm. You recognize it? It's the gun you used to kill my father. <gasps> Judy Stark. Yelena Belova. I am Natasha, not Yelena. Your dad saved me. What began as Natasha's mission to stop Yelena became a mission to protect her. Is she here? Is she? You'll kill her. Well, you can't stop that. I'm a Stark. We do what we want. Leading up to V-Day, Wolverine was teaching at the Xavier Institute. Following the decimation of the school, he wandered in a daze of survivor's guilt over not being able to save his students and his fellow X-Men. Finally, he rediscovered his will to fight. So given the whole world wants me dead right about now, seems like a right time to take on a suicide mission. I want to take on Red Skull. Myself. President Red Skull, King has overwhelmed the country right now. I haven't seen anything like this since V Day. It's an angry Red Skull. Oh, oh, the 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 After decades of imprisonment by an imposter, Dr. Doom escaped captivity. He vowed revenge on the former allies who betrayed him on V Day. What is more important than the Red Skull? <laughs> you need something from him. What are you after? Oh, no. Not the Cosmic Cube? The Cosmic Cube is not a joke. It is one of the most powerful weapons in existence. It will grant any wish to whomever possesses it, but it is not meant for just anyone. It can only be controlled by someone with great skill and power. But in his quest for the cube, Doom was joined and ultimately opposed by Valeria Richards, the daughter of his greatest enemy. Hello, Victor. Valeria, you survived. And the cube? Protected me. It isn't done with this world, and neither am I. But we are done with you. Uh, what? Ah. Better run, Victor.
sister? You're on your own now. Good luck finding anyone else to trust Doom. What would you do? What you couldn't. Create a perfect world. Join us now for an electrifying tale of valor and villainy. For from the smoldering wreckage of Avengers Tower strides a cape figure, redolent with malevolence. His cloak tattered, his gloved fists raised in furious defiance. No stock-designed prison can contain one as powerful as I. Let my captors show themselves. Let them face the unbridled wrath of Magneto, master of magnetism. When titans clash, the gods themselves fall to their knees. Who will answer their prayer for humanity? A weaponeer who armors himself in metals of red and gold. Iron Man! Look out behind you! A web-slinger whose true heart pumps the blood of spiders. Don't leave your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man out of the action. <laughs> a living symbol of the American dream. A shield-hurling super soldier born for battle. Heroes, if you can hear me, this is Captain America. Avengers, assemble! And finally, the legendary Fantastic Four, led by the elastic mastermind, Reed Richards. Torch, Thing, Invisible Woman, at my command. At my command. <laughs> Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders, Chapter 1, Marching Towards the End of the World. hot Saturday night, and we're here to celebrate the death of President Red Skull, so shout it out! Oh, yeah! Come on, louder! No, no, louder! Let's turn Doomwood into Boomwood! Into what? You know, Boomwood! Boom! Like a loud noise. Make, make, make some noise. That's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, you're the DJ. You make some noise. Yeah, don't expect us to do your job for you. We're here for a good time. Yeah. And friends, that is exactly what I'm uniquely qualified to deliver. Really? Man, I knew this town was named after Dr. Doom. I didn't know they all graduated from his charm school. What? What did you say? Here to deliver fun! That's what I am. Did you just compare us to Dr. Doom? <laughs> Dude, I saved you from Dr. Doom. You remember that? Uh, oh, from a fake Doom. Big whoops. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> hey, we're all friends here. Yeah? Did any of us just get on a microphone and insult you? Look, I was actually off mic. Look, bygones, people. We're here to partay. Yeah, for a DJ, you have a very punchable face. Look, uh, dude... You don't want any trouble, okay? I don't want any trouble. Hey, 
Everybody, DJ Gramps here is ready to throw it out. He's a tough guy. Ooh. Okay, all right, all right, listen up. You see that sign? Sign says DJ Peter Quill, Star-Lord. Maybe some of us knuckle-dragon doombillies don't look like it to you, DJ Star-Lord, but we do know how to read. And I'm, I'm sure you're extraordinarily literate, but what I'm trying to say is, is that I'm not some dude out here pretending to be Star-Lord. I'm Star-Lord. It's my superhero name for when I'm fighting bad guys, saving people, swooping through space with my friend. Swooping through space. Huh. Look, what I'm trying to advise you is you're messing with the wrong super. <laughs> Stay down, superhero. That, that what hurt. Is God awful <clears throat> racket. You call <clears throat> this music? Uh, no, not the fool. <clears throat> well. Uh. Answer me! <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Ow. Good. Good song. Sentimental. He oh. expected us to dance to this junk? <laughs> Here, give me that bar stool. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> no! Hey, come on, man. Oh, what you gotta do that for? That's my stuff. We're just getting started, man. <laughs> That looks like it hurt. Anybody else need a concussion arrow to the head? Didn't think so. Who the hell? Hawkeye? Like, like Clint Barton Hawkeye? Avenger Hawkeye? Blindfolded? Hawkeye? Just straight up blind. Give me your hand. Let's get you to your feet. What? Yeah. Ah! Oh, I knew it! I knew, I knew there had to be other heroes alive somewhere. That was a good old-fashioned piece of Avenger assembling there. You really saved those guys from a beating. I saved them? I was, I was picking my moment. Off the ground? Because that's where you were. Yeah. Dude, you wouldn't want to see what I was about to do. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say see. A quail, I'm blind, not naked. I'm not ashamed of it. Well, how'd you, how'd you hit him? Without seeing him, I mean. I... Stark brand hearing aid, and a lot of practice. In your case, I keyed in on your whimpering, then aimed five feet higher. Any more questions? You know, we should hang out. Both our names are bird references. Quill, Hawkeye. Can we go back to talking about my eyes? Because when you share this much, I want to tear off my ears. Oh, no! Flark! Man! I nearly forgot my weapons. Weapons? Yeah, yeah, the equipment I play my jams on, they're all busted up. Oh. Weapons? Yeah, music! It's, it's, it's my love weapon, man. That's a quote from me. Why don't we just... Have a drink and settle ourselves down. Look, I don't need settling down, okay? What if those guys who hit me wake up? I got more arrows. Anyway, so after... I heard Wolverine had toppled the Red Skull, meaning we could finally chalk one up to the good guys again after a 30-year dry spell. I started riding west. So somebody said, quote, some Lord of the Stars had a club along the way. I deciphered, decided to swing by. Yeah, well, it's not much more than a tent. Crowds are thin and mercurial. But that's not everything, you know. There's some stuff more important. Here, check this out. I wear it in a little jar around my neck. My most prized possession. A seed. Not just any seed. You ever hear the expression, grow a pear? Well, I can grow a pal with this. Not a pear, a pal. See what I did there? Yeah, 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 I got it. It's a good pal. One I really miss. Very poor conversationalist, kind of violent, but... I'll get to hug him again someday. It's a Groot seed. Groot. My plant monster buddy from my old team that I was totally in charge of. Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't have to explain Groot or the Guardians. We fought together, remember? No. 
Korvac. Killer cyborg from the 31st century. I know Korvac. Back before, way before, the day the villains won. We all fought that ugly gorilla together. The Avengers, the Guardians, the Wakandans. Yeah, but you weren't there. I was too in that fight. Well, using what? Your your anti-Korvac arrow? Guy was holding the ultimate, uh, uh what, what, what's a Uzi? Nullifier, ultimate nullifier. Nullifier. We had Thor, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, me, Star-Lord. What good would you have been shooting arrows? I mean, no offense. I forgot what power you have. What is it again? It's uh, super courage and planning. Impressive. Plus, in my hands, anything is a love weapon. <laughs> Just like that seed? Hey, that's a brotherly love weapon. Well, I came this close to losing my life when I freed my little dude from the collector. For collector? Well, she's cosmic level. <laughs> yeah, man, she's not too reasonable. Pretty gutsy to steal from her. I, I guess you didn't hear the part where I said I'm Star-Lord, right? I mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't steal him. You know, I rescued him. And as soon as I get a proper patch of ground that's mine, I'm going to put that seed in the ground. I'm going to grow my buddy back. You watch. Huh. Yep. You're looking for some open land, huh? The direction I'm headed, you might just find some. I dig the wanderlust. Where's it leading you? Well, that's kind of like your deal with Groot. I have an apprentice. Well, no, not anymore, I don't. She graduated. I, I mean, <sighs> damn it. We buried a lot of good people. Tony, Steve, Tasha. Well, uh, what, Tasha? Black Widow. But Kate Bishop is still breathing. And she's... She's family. Rumor is she was last seen in Hulkland. Oh, you hope that's not true, dude. I know. The nukes. It's too awful what happened. It's too fresh. Whole West Coast got hit, and nobody even really knows how or why. But, you know, that's all I can think about. Until I find out for sure whether Kate made it out alive. You're gonna search a toxic wasteland. I'll figure something out. I always do. So you're asking me on a road trip just because I'm a guy with functioning eyeballs who can drive you to Hulkland? I'll drive. Your role is co-target. Co-target? Anybody shooting at me will have a 50% chance of hitting you instead. 50%, huh? Yep. I like those odds. <laughs> We leave at sunrise. I mean, <laughs> unless you got too many memories tied up in this crap hole. Quill? Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, I, uh, no, no, no. It's just the thing about memories. They tend to follow you no matter where you go. Okay, then. Sunrise. Feel free to bring your weapons. Let us begin. Commence recording. 0600 hours, August 13. Advanced Idea Mechanics Classified Site. Detainee Judith Stark, CEO of Stark Industries. Recording agent A317D8. Interrogator is AIM Scientist Supreme designated the Super Adaptoid. State your name, please. State your name, please. AIM Agent A317D8, please inform your scientist Supreme that I've sworn off conversations with synthetic objects like him. It, they never really understand anything, and they repeat themselves. A lot. This is not a conversation. My purpose here is to extract information, not exchange it. How predictable that a being like the Super Adaptoid, whose only skill is mimicking the powers and abilities of others, can't reason for itself. Ask it if it thinks it can talk to me. Me, without conveying important information. For instance, I can tell that it's worried. It knows that after I get to the bottom of whatever the hell happened in California, I'm going to blow AIM off the face of the earth. State your name, please. A317D8, 
Tell it my name is Homo sapiens, and its name is Promptu Obiectum. Disposable object from the Latin. Ms. Judith Stark, you are clearly accustomed to dealing with two dominating subjects who possess pride that can be wounded and anger you can arouse. It is unfortunate that you choose to waste our time today by employing those tactics on one like myself, who, as you stress, is far from human. Nevertheless, I shall proceed. Stark Industries was under Ames' control, my control, until the Black Widow helped you reclaim it. Now, following the assassination of President Red Skull, New York City has been a war zone, with civilian casualties approaching two million. On the surface, many disparate factions eager to fill the void of power have joined the slaughter, each claiming its own agenda. But a look beneath the surface reveals stark connected payments to almost all of these organizations. Is the hidden goal of this violence to install you or one of your minions as President Red Skull's successor? Is the hidden goal of this violence to install A3? you... A3? Can I call you A3? Uh, yes? A3. Tell Copycat that I'm not falling for it. There is no attempt to deceive. Tell it we both know that Stark is backing half the killers and AIM the other half. AIM has not made any payments to any... It's called a proxy war. And when it's over, I'll be president and the super adaptoid will be used for spare parts at a sewage treatment plant. If I'm in a good mood that day. AIM has not made any payments to... A3, can't you shut it off? This is going nowhere. AIM has not made any payments to any political faction currently shut within the it. administration. This is the worst job of interrogating anyone I've ever seen. You should be ashamed. Now, start over from scratch. I have had enough of this. Prepare to be justly annihilated. Repulsors, blast! <laughs> This is the Scientist Supreme. I require a cleanup crew in Interrogation Chamber Zero to collect the bodies of one agent and one Judith Stark life model decoy. Send in the next LMD and make certain it is programmed to respond to queries exactly as the real Judith Stark would. Reporting for duty, sir. Very good. Agent A317D9. Sir. May I inquire what happened to Agent A317-D8? You may not. You don't have what you want yet? Judith Stark's personality has many facets. In order to remove her as a threat, I must learn to control them all. Agent, please tell the machine it never will control me. It is clearly not competent to interact with organic forms. Miss Stark, I believe this would yield better results if you would speak to me directly. Sure, we can try that. Let us begin. Commence recording. 0700 hours, August 13, Advanced Idea Mechanics Classified Site. Detainee Judith Stark, CEO of Stark Industries. Recording agent A317D9. Interrogator is AIM Scientist Supreme, designated the Super Adaptoid. State your name, please. Judy Stark. What is your occupation? Chief Executive Officer, Stark Industries. What was your... And your company's connection to the recently ended administration. The Red Skull appointed several Stark Industries board members to his cabinet. His people were generally hospitable to our lobbyists. He received regular donations from us. And personally? I hardly knew the man. I never wanted to make a public show of working with him. If his fascism ever became unpopular, as fascism tends to do, I didn't want that stink on me. Yet you supported him covertly. That was just business. We made sinful amounts of money with him in office. But then President Red Skull was assassinated. Did you order it? I just said he was good for us. How would the Stark approach to governance differ from the Red Skull's fascism? What's good for Stark Industries is good for America. I have heard enough. Agent A-317-D9, signal tactical to prepare orders for the capture of the actual Judas Stark. You think it's that easy? Judy Stark's not going to sit and wait around. What do you think she's doing now? Interrogating dollies of you? LMD, your analysis was not solicited. Why not? You gave me her personality. You could have gotten inside her mind if you knew the first thing about human beings. But the questions you asked were ridiculous. 
How would the Stark approach to governance differ from the Red Skull's fascism? Come on. You're terrible at this. We both know. Scientist Supreme? What a joke. Are the guards outside? Summon them in. Yes, sure. Put me away. Don't listen. You're smarter. More important. That whole attitude is the reason she's going to have your head on a... Hey! Let go of me. Let go of me. You're dead, robot! Judy Stark is gonna roll you over. No one will even remember me. You are human? Yes, sir. Did the LMD speak truth? Uh, about what, sir? Will Judith Stark achieve an easy victory? Are Homo sapiens so superior to artificial life forms? Uh, I... It's all right, um... Agent. You may answer without fear of repercussions. You are supreme, sir. Good. Told ya, they had the friggin' war zone now. Nothing left to loot. How are we gonna get out of here? Is that an ambulance coming this way? It's ours if you can take out the driver. <laughs> Got him in my sights. Steady, steady. <laughs> Easy pickings. Ambulance looks drivable. Help me back it off the sidewalk, you will. Hey, war criminal. Back off! That's a medical transport! Oh my god. Is that... that that's Wolverine! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not messing with him. Run! Driver, you hurt? No. I'm okay. But... but the door's stuck. You can't get the... Coming in with claws! Move back! Let me check. Paramedics out cold. I'll go you one worse. Your patient's dead. Damn it. That's all you gotta say? This is your fault! Hey, pal. If I hadn't have stepped in, you'd I be- I know who you are. You're Wolverine. You killed the president, and you started this war. President? Red Skull was a Nazi kid. Card carrying. Look around you, man. This is what we get without a tough leader in charge. Skull is gone, and so is law and order. Yeah. Not because we can't get along without a Hitler. We're killing each other because somebody wants it that way. I'm not gonna debate politics with a killer. Just... just get away from me. You know, I'd shoot you myself Go if I... ahead! Shoot! I can take it. You're insane. And you're carrying. Come on. You'll feel better. According to you, I deserve it. Just... just keep away! Well, let me get you to safety at least. I said keep away! Great. <laughs> Wolverine, you alive under there? Tell me I haven't been wasting my time tracking you. Are you alive? Natasha Romanoff? The Black Widow? Is that you, or... Or am I about to get measured for wings in a halo? It's really me, Logan. I see no point in trying to fool a man who can literally sniff out an imposter. Leather, adrenaline, and cortisol. And a trace of orange blossoms. That's your signature scent, all right. Are you injured? Oh, heal. Natasha Romanoff. We all thought you were dead. Where you been all these years? Come on, get up. Yeah. Uh. Look out! Uh. And we thought New York was dangerous back in the day. Same old. Someone thinks they're big and everyone else is disposable. Someone like Judy Stark? Her and the toaster in charge of AIM. Super adaptor. Fight it out until they're done and not give a rat's ass about collateral damage. And you take it personally enough to patrol the war zone yourself? Yeah, well... You working with someone? Ah, that ship has sailed. Ran out of people who'd put up with me. So why are you here? Because it's bad. And it won't get better anytime soon, and I... What? I caused it. 
I know. Just wanted to hear you admit it. <laughs> Listen, me finding you isn't coincidence. I've been on your trail. I was working a long game trying to set things up so the inevitable transfer of power would be peaceful. Oh. Then you happened. Yeah. Logan, we've both done things. Your goal was noble. Plus, the Skull was asking for it since, what, 1941? Yeah, well, my timing could have been better. You think? Well, I'm here to give you a shot at a make good. You really want to save the Eastern Seaboard? What you got in mind? Judith Stark became a loose cannon once her father, Arno, went mad. I've been getting encrypted messages from an anonymous source that she's planning something big and ugly that makes this look like playtime. I came to New York to investigate. Lucking on to you was a bonus. I still know some back ways into Stark Industries. You up for a mission? Lead the way. What's with the checkpoint? Since when is there an A military encampment in the middle of I-10? I went into California, I gotta show papers now? Mister, have you been following the news at all? <laughs> I've been on the road 18 hours a day for a week now, G.I. Joe. I barely had time to pee, and my Ultron stopped talking a while back. Well, you gotta turn around. No one gets in. It's for your own good. Soldier, this load's perishable, and I have to get it to the coast by... <clears throat> what are you doing? Saving your life by not letting you pass? Look, I'll just find another road. <laughs> nope. Every road into the state's guarded by a name blockade just like this one. Can't believe you haven't heard. Give me a break, okay? L let me make a call. That was your one warning shot. Turn around, nothing through there but nasty radiation. Attention, soldier. Is that you who discharged their firearm? Just a warning shot, sir. That trucker was an ostrich. No idea what was happening in the world. Didn't believe me about the dead sector. At ease. You holding up all right? How long's your shift? It's 12 hours, sir. That's too long. They swear the dead sector radiation stopping clean at the California border, God knows how, but let's not take that chance. I'll get you some relief. Thanks, Lieutenant. Me and the others... I think we're starting to see things. It, it sounds crazy, sir, but... I'll be the judge. Private Conrad could swear he saw Dr. Doom, sir. <laughs> the imagination plays tricks under stress, soldier. You and I both know there isn't any Victor Von Doom. Hasn't been since I was a kid. The man claiming to be Doom got outed as a fake. Hell, I knew he was a fraud. How? I ever tell you where I was born? Where, sir? Latveria. But that was Doom's kingdom. Mm-hmm. We fled when I was five. Right after Doom disappeared and the country fell into ruin. But before that, I saw him. Once. I don't remember much else from so early on, but that's something you never forget. You know that feeling when you see something so terrifying that you instinctively turn away, but every cell in your body is screaming at you to sneak one more look? That's Victor Von Doom. The timbre of his voice could cut through granite. It could dominate any crowd effortlessly. With a glance, with a gesture, Doom could turn anyone into his puppet. And they'd be happy to please him. He had a way of making people humble. They'd show up for work on time, put in a full day, be good citizens. He knew how to motivate people. I tell you, if he were alive and did show his... Well, not his face. No one sees his face. It wouldn't be the worst thing. Kind words, <gasps> Lieutenant. Oh my god! If somewhat <laughs> understated. <laughs> you can't really be... I, I mean, it's impossible. Are you insinuating that I need to prove myself? To a lieutenant. <laughs> no, 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 it's just... My God, it's you. All right, I'm just, uh... Well, I don't know whether to be baffled or honored. Dr. Doom! <clears throat> what can AIM Encampment Bravo do for you? 
I have been studying the radiation field barring passage beyond the California border. I believe I know why it exists and what lies beyond, but to be certain, I require corroborating information. You're going to show me what you've learned here. I can introduce you to AIM General Reuther, sir. He's authorized to grant such requests. Then take me to him. I have already wasted enough time on underlings. To this day, the sight of doom inspires all in soldiers and citizens alike. Yes, sir. You still radiate power. Command! Even given your present circumstances. What circumstances? Oh, I, uh... I didn't mean it in any kind of negative way, Doctor. It's just that you clearly have a tremendous dignity that isn't reflected by... Uh, Speak. Um, well, it's, it's, uh... I mean, you once possessed such advanced weaponry. State-of-the-art armor. No, beyond state-of-the-art. And now... Uh... I appear somehow less than? <clears throat> Is that your assessment? Lieutenant, heed my warning. If Doom has to keep coaxing explanations out of you... You had... You had your own country. And now... You... Uh... So, my circumstances appear to you to be... Reduced. Uh, no. And you give voice to this vicious insult within earshot of the soldiers and officers of your militia. Uh... Who else would you tell? No. Who else uh, would they tell? And what then? Mm, uh, would Doom be pitied? Uh, Mocked? No, no, I Silence, don't... Silence, worm! You knew that I would never permit such calumny to circulate... Ah! And yet you open your piteous mouth! <laughs> Yet, despite appearances, the gauntlets of doom still possess state-of-the-art weapons augmented by old as time sorcery! Victor, who? You know who. The man you've always looked up to. Always wanted to emulate. If only you had the intelligence. The ghost of Reed Richards? My greatest foe? That's who you claim to be? Please. Whoever or whatever you are, Richards and his cretinous Fantastic Four perished 30 years ago. Were you there, Victor? I... Then how can you be so certain? You have questions, and I am here to tell you that answers lie only footsteps away. If you want to see what really became of the Fantastic Four, Victor, follow me into the Dead Sector. On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. It's not all fun and games, Quill. Fun and games? Then, what's the town? Craven's Landing. Which is in pretty poor taste, if you ask me. There's this, like, glowing wall right at the border. All shimmery light and energy. Y you ever see the Antares Nebula up close? Quill, don't yeah. do it, Quill! Yeah. Take that up! They took that. Tell Groot! Quill! Quill! Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. 
starring Dylan Baker as Dr. Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr., Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Mark Wade. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Malouf as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Kaliswa Brewster as Accomplice. Gina Daniels as Heckler Number 2. Ethan Dubin as Shooter. Shane Kenyon as Driver, Ramiz Monsef as Magneto, Richie Nash as Trucker, Tom Sesma as Lieutenant Hoffman, Tom Sesma as Heckler Number One, Liz Sharp as Private Jones, with additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers, Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Additional engineering provided by Beat Street NYC, Sound Lounge, Underground Audio, The Relic Room, Big Orange Sheep, Soundproof Studios, Studio Tulum, Mobile Mics, Studio Awesome, This Is Sound Design, Philadelphia Post, Tightrope Recording, Studio Media. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Pain, written by Daniel Creamer. Performed by the Texas Gentleman. Courtesy of New West Records by arrangements with Sugar Room. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Law, PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. Special thanks to Jordan Boatman, Kaliswa Brucer, Matt DeCaro, Ethan Dubin, Kirsten Fitzgerald, Molly Hager, Dan Hartley, Shane Kenyon, Danny McCarthy, James Meredith, Deanna Myers, Abby Pierce, Barbara Robertson, Ron Rogel, Gabe Ruiz, Liz Sharp, Guy Van Swearingen. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wade Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. I am Peter Quill, a.k.a. DJ Star-Lord, and this is Club Star-Lord. Let me hear you. Don't, don't, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, man. Oh, 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 that looks like it hurt. Anybody else need a concussion arrow to the head? Hawkeye? Like, like Clint Barton Hawkeye? Wolverine, you alive under there? <sighs> Tell me I have been wasting my time tracking you. Are you alive? Natasha Romanoff? The Black Widow? Is that you or... Could doom be pitied? Uh, Mock... <laughs> No, I don't. Silence, worm. Hero 
Santos, if you can hear me, this is Captain America. Avengers assemble! Captain America, hero of heroes, puts out the call. That famous clarion call bringing heroes from far and wide to face the villainous mutant Magneto. First on the scene, the Fantastic Four. Torch, Thing, Invisible Woman, at my command, stop Magneto at all costs. The brilliant Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic himself, leads them into the fray. My X-Men are here, Captain. We won't let Magneto win. <laughs> Professor Xavier and the uncanny X-Men, the mighty mutant fighting force, join the battle. Cyclops, Beast, Iceman, Angel, Marvel Girl, attack! Fools! <laughs> you think you can stand against me? When heroes stand together, nothing can stand against them. Ain't that the truth? Heroes, they save the world. They stand tall, protecting the innocent. They make the world a better place. Avengers, assemble! Um, Cap, you... You, you already said that. I did? Yeah, you already said Avengers, assemble. Oh. <laughs> uh, what comes next? What are we supposed to do now, Professor X? Reed, I... I think we... F f fight? Yes, Charles. Fight. You fight me. You all fight me. Right. You fight. Oh, yeah, we fight. <laughs> we heroes. We, uh, fight. <laughs> you know, can stand and stand. Fight. 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 Right. Right. Help. Avengers! Us! Yes! You all am I! No, 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 no. No. It's still not right. It. It wasn't like that. I know it wasn't. It's still not enough. I, I don't have enough. I, I need more. I need more. I, I, I need more. Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 2. Road to Nowhere. Just like us. No, it was funny. You remember funny. I do. Okay. And you're not it. Hey, you invited me on this whole quest thing. You knew what you were getting into. I also said I was gonna drive. You know you're blind. Yeah, how could I forget? And you have terrible taste in music. It's better this way. For everyone. <sighs> Just drive. We've gotta be close to the Hulkland border by now. Well... We're close, but... But? I don't, I don't know about you, man, but I need fuel. Food, energy. F what? I, yeah, food, man. Uh, Look, no. when you rock as hard as I do, you got to fill up the tank. No, no, no. Don't you want to get out, stretch your old legs? That wasn't part of the deal. The deal was you get me to Hokeland so I can find Kate. Kate Bishop? Yeah, I, I don't... 
think I ever met the other Hawkeye. Did you give her a name or or let's pull over here? We are not stopping. We are not stopping. I'm not gonna face the nuked Hawks on an empty stomach. We got those burritos back before Hammer Falls. Yeah, two. And that was forever ago. Look, I gotta eat a full meal. I'm a growing boy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I, I I can joke about my weight. You can't. We don't have time to stop. What do you mean time? Look, the nukes already landed on Hulkland. It's not like we're gonna stop them. We have to get to Kate. And we will. We have to find her. We will. We have to I... find out what's happening there. We're gonna find out, Hawkeye. I swear. We will. After I've had a burger. Or two. You don't need two burgers, Quill. Heroin is hungry, hard work. You haven't done any heroing yet. Just driving. And singing. Off key. I'm anticipating heroing. Much heroing. Uh-huh. We're in Zemo's kingdom. They could definitely use a hero around here. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not like that. Not anymore. What are you talking about? Right? Zemo suddenly went all soft and gooey inside? Yeah, something like that. But that doesn't mean I want to spend a lot of time here. Look, who said a lot of time? I said a lot of time. Just long enough for a burger. Maybe a beer. Maybe another beer. Maybe another burger. Maybe five beers. I, I don't know, but I, uh, I, I, I'm hey, dying. Hey, 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 you do know this isn't a vacation, right? We're here to save the day, yeah. After a good meal, which we can find right here in this... What town is this? Uh, you tell me. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, there's a sign on. There's a sign right up ahead. Okay. Uh, it's, uh... You gotta be kidding me. Which town are we in? I don't even want to say it. What's the town? Craven's Landing, which is in pretty poor taste, if you ask me. Isn't Craven dead? Yeah, he is now. Well, according to the map, this is the last town in the kingdom before the Hulkland border, so it's this, or... Or we just keep on going? And eat handfuls of sand? (sighs) It's fine. Fine. Look at that, right there! That diner over there looks like it'll do. Oh, hi there, honey. Just give me a second and I'll get you set up. Take your time. (sighs) Smell that? That's good old American supper food. It's grease. Old grease. Yeah, what do you know? You're blind. You ask me to smell. You'll feel better after a burger. Well, I'm not having a burger. Okay, then. (laughs) Just the two of you? Yes, ma'am. I'm Star-Lord, and I'm a super... Hungry. We're both super hungry. 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 Well, you came to the right place. Let me get y'all situated. Come on, follow me. Hey, cooler with that stuff here, okay? Zemo's kingdom may be changing, but it isn't too welcoming. Not in places like this. That's because they don't know me. That would make it worse. Okay, my favorite table. And a couple menus for y'all. The specials today are a chicken fried mushroom steak platter with asparagus and mashies. And roast chicken with cream corn and baked potatoes. If the steak is chicken fried, is the chicken steak roasted? He thinks he's funny. Oh, it's okay. My grandpa thinks he's funny, too. (laughs) I'll tell you, let's just get a couple of coffees to start, huh? Thanks. Okay, you got it. What is he talking? Grandpa? I'm old enough to be her her father. Maybe her father's slightly younger friend. Quill, are you like this all the time? That's my natural charm. Oh, yeah, she seemed charm. I keep telling you. Quill, this isn't a vacation. The kingdom ain't some kind of a, a theme park. We should try to keep a lower profile. Why? You said the kingdom was changing. Zemo wasn't doomed. But he wasn't great. I heard life was pretty bad. Ultrons, Taskmasters, some terrible circus. It wasn't great. I'm telling you, that sounds like a case for a couple of guys like us. We just detour a little, take out Zemo, and get to Kate tomorrow. Not gonna happen. I thought you were all fired up to bring back the good old days. You don't know the kingdom like I do. Things are gonna be different here, but change takes time. We can speed it up. 
Once people get a load of Star Lord and Hawkeye, everything. People gonna... aren't ready. Maybe we're not ready. Not really. Speak for yourself. You just don't get it. What? <laughs> it's not all fun and games, Quill. Fun and games? You think I'm talking about fun and games? Yeah, I... oh, here's your coffee, fellas. You uh, you ready to order? What's your name? Zelda. Hi, Zelda. You hear anything about what's happening out in Hulkland? Oh, all that? I heard something about some missiles or something. You never know what those hulks are up to. A bunch of them science guys tore through town a couple of days ago with a bunch of soldiers and trucks and stuff headed for the border. The science guys? From back east, I think. Mm -hmm. The truck said aim or something on them. Mm -hmm. But it's not really any of my business. So you didn't hear about it here. But, but if there was trouble out here, you'd want someone to check into it, right? I'm sure King Zemo will get around to it. Yeah, okay, but if he doesn't, someone should do something. He will. King Zemo takes care of everything. <sighs> you were born here, yeah? In Craven's Landing? Oh, yeah. Kingdom born and bred. Uh-huh. You like it here? Craven's Landing is my favorite place in the whole world. Because of the burgers? To have an Ultron? Sure do. Oh, makes my life so much easier. You ever hear anything about... Superheroes? Superheroes? <laughs> oh, come on! They're like the boogeyman. What? When I was a kid, I was scared that Iron Man was going to come out from under my bed and drag me off. But they're all dead and long gone. Drag you off where? Some terrible place. My mom used to scare me with him. Brush your teeth or Iron Man will come get you. <laughs> oh, so you wouldn't feel great if someone was walking around talking about being a hero? Uh, no. That would be weird. And dumb. And I'd worry that they lost their day of minds. <laughs> Who needs someone who thinks they're better than all of us lording it over everyone? Pushing us around? Folks just want to live their lives and not have someone sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Thank you, Zelda. Y'all still want some lunch? Burgers. Right, Quill? Yeah. Yeah, burgers. Thanks. Two burgers. Coming right up. We grow the best mushrooms in the kingdom out back. They'll be right out. Uh, what are you trying to prove, Hawkeye? That it won't be easy. That the world may not be ready. Not really. But we have to try. We have to do something. There are monsters out there. There are nukes falling. We have to do something. Well, like, it... you know, I gotta go. I, 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 gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Your friend okay? Uh, he will be. Excuse me. You need help finding your way to the door? I'm good. You want those burgers to go? Sir? Just keep them warm. That you, Quill? Yeah. Who else would it be? I don't know. Some bored kid tossing rocks. What are you throwing them at? Other rocks. I guess. Quill, I want the world of heroes back again. I do. I was lost for a long time. Didn't think I could find my way back to anything good and true. But Bobby, Kate, my kid Ash, they helped me find my way. Helped me believe in fixing this broken world. And then Ash went off and took over as Zemo. Say that again? It's a long story. But, uh, well, my kid Ash and her partner Max, they're running the show around here now. No. Well, they just got started. And they're making it better. And they're doing it their way. But it's going to take time. Changing a whole country, hell. The whole world. It takes time and work and effort. Oh, I want to swoop in, shoot some arrows, take out some bad guys, too. That would feel really nice, but there's more to all of this than that. When I left the kingdom looking for Kate, oh, I was all fired up, ready to go start doing good again. But Quill, as I traveled and met folks and I talked to them and I heard about their lives... I realized something. These people, they're good people and all, uh -huh. but they're not ready for it. 
They're not ready for all of this to change. This is the only world they've ever known. I want to help them too, but they need to want my help. Our help. They'll get there. We just got to take our time. I spent so long out there with the supernovas and the alien empires and the guardians. I, I just wanted Earth to be better, to be like it was. So when I plant this Groot seed, it can grow, thrive. With everything broken like this, what am I bringing my friend into? I know, Quill. I do. We'll fix it. One piece at a time. Now, come on. Your mushroom burger's getting cold by now. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey what do the fries look like? Oh, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> and just when I was starting to feel sorry for you. That burger did the trick. Come on, sing it with me, baby. It's a classic. Yee! Just get us the whole plan in one piece. I will. You know I will. It's just up, up, uh, up ahead. Oh, wow. What? What is it? You gotta describe things to me, damn it. It's a Hulk clan, uh, Hawkeye, I, I think, but it's. it's um, but, but, but what? What? It's glowing. There's this, like, glowing wall right at the border, all shimmery light and energy. Y you ever see the Antares Nebula up close? No, of course not. You'd say it looks just like it. A wall of energy? Between us and the Hulk land? Whew, that's not good. No, it's not. Can we get closer to it? I don't know. It looks like there's some kind of installation right at the border. That must be the AIM thing Zelda was talking about. Ah. And that's where we should head. AIM's from back east? New York, mostly. But they tend to get around. And if they're interested in whatever this is, that means it's even worse than we think. Let's be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. What's out there? This place has been blasted to smithereens. Everything's been blown apart, blown up, just... It's completely wrecked. Hulks? I don't think so. Those look like scorch marks. From some kind of blaster, a pretty powerful one at that. Nothing left but scraps and shreds. I think this one still has a name tag on it. Conrad. So a bunch of nukes went off in Hulkland. Shouldn't there be radiation everywhere? Fallout? Something? One would think, but this doesn't look like a nuclear blast. Looks like someone got pissed and wrecked up the joint. Well, how could a bunch of AIM scientists piss anyone off? I don't know. You have all the same information I have. Let's go check that weird wall. I think... I think it's humming. Shh, 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 shh. What? Shh. I can... Or something. We can all hear that humming. No, something else. I have these old Stark enhanced hearing aids. They can pick up the faintest sound. Oh, I forgot about those when I was singing. I turned them off because you were singing. Harsh, dude. And now they're picking up something. Something underneath the hum. Something. Something else. Don't get too close to it, Hawkeye. Something. Something like... What the... What, 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 what did you hear? Uh, Avengers? Assemble? Well, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's something weird about all this. I don't like it. You're really not gonna like that! What? That boulder that's heading our way! Move! Uh. 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 
the hell did that come from? Puny humans. Stupid humans. I'm guessing from them. You think? Run for cover. <laughs> run, Puny humans. But we will smash. Won't smash all of you. You think they wrecked the base? I'm telling you, it was last year. Not big fists. You blew up Hulk's home. You blow up Hulk's family! We just got here! I don't think they're really listening to reason. I had to try. Eat Blaster, Hulk! Hey, Quill, I need you to sight for me. They're making too much noise for my hearing aids to triangle. I'm a little busy here! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe a concussion arrow will scare them off. Right or left? No, 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 the other, the other right. It didn't even hurt their feelings. Smash you! Smash everyone! You know, us. Head for the jeep. Maybe we uh, can outrun them. That's the best idea yet. I yeah, can. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's up. On three. Okay. One. Three! It can't end like this. It won't. You run. I'll distract them. Don't worry about me. No. I'll just get my crew in the ground somewhere. Somewhere nice. Quill, don't do it, Quill! Take that up! Oh no. They took that. Smash! Tell crew! Quill! Quill! You still there? Yeah! Oh. Yeah, I am. I. Did they miss? What was that sound? It sounded like I believe it was not, Hawk. Oh! Stop! Get him! Grab him! Well, well, what? What is happening there? It's it's Cap. Captain America. In the flesh. Eyes as blue as the ocean. Smile as bright as the sun. Captain America and his mighty shield. He's fighting both folks at the same time. Wow! He bounces the shield off one of their heads, catches it, and sweeps the legs out from the other. He uses his shield as a battering ram and then slides under the covering arm of a Hulk. He dodges a flying fist. Man, he's fast. Faster than anyone should be. Oh! He just landed an uppercut on a Hulk. A massive one. Yeah. Another. A shield to the gut of the other one. Oh, that has got to yeah. hurt. He's just drubbing both of them. Quill. I can see him. I, I can see Cap. He's glowing. All gold and orange. Yeah, yeah he is. How can I see? Did he fix your eyesight? Can you see now? No. Just him. All I can see is Cap. The Hulks are running off. And he's coming here. Cap? Is that you? Cap? Avengers! Mm. Assemble! What's wrong with his voice? Avengers. What's that? Assemble. Assemble. Too loud. Assemble. No kidding. Assemble. Avengers. Avengers. Assemble. 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 Okay. The city needs you. The city needs you. Beats. Beats. We need your bravery, your heart, your courage. Aren't those all the same thing? The city's there. Just over there. The city is there. It is a beautiful spring day. The hustle and bustle of life. But the city needs heroes. The city needs you. The city needs you. Fantastic. Uncanny. The city. The city. You. Needs. Needs. The city needs you. The city. You. The city needs. Needs. You. 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 Where did he go? Where did he go? Cap. Cap. He just disappeared. Swallowed up by that wall. He's, he's gone, Hawkeye. He's, he's gone. He can't just be gone. Well, what, what did he mean, huh? Who needs us? What city? Is there something beyond that wall? How? I mean, how can any of this be happening? Hawkeye, I, I don't know. 
And this this is way above my pay grade. So I'm going to go back to the diner and get some coffee. You just going to walk away? Look, I want to save people, help people, daring do and stuff like that, hero stuff. Yeah. But whatever's happening here with that wall and that weird cap, that is spooky stuff. Call Dr. Strange. You can't just walk away. There are people in there. I guess Cap can help them. That wasn't Cap. It couldn't be. You know that wasn't him. It sure looked like him to me. And to you. Because you could see him. And just him. Spooky? I do ray guns and aliens. I don't do spooky. You don't get to pick and choose when you're a hero, Quill. What? I'm choosing not to get turned into a newt or whatever's happening in there. What would Groot say? Hmm? Well, that's... That, what, that's a low blow. But what would he say? I am Groot. But, like, kind of sad. See, whatever's happening in there, whatever's going on, maybe that's the key to making the world better. Maybe that's why Cap wants us to go in there. Maybe that's what he needs our help for. But you really think that was Captain America? He's dead, Hawkeye. They're all dead. It was... something. Yeah? Something I could see. Right. What if they're not? Huh? Dead. What if they're all trapped in there somehow? What if they need us and we can save them, huh? If we can save them, maybe we can save the world. And how can we walk away from that? And what is more heroic than saving the world? Uh, I, I, so we just we just walk in there? I guess. Uh, are you sure? You sure we should do this? Yeah. Let's go. Stop! Don't take another step! Is that...? It can't be. I, it absolutely cannot be. I kicked his butt. Well, it was a, a fake doom, but the real one was... As you can see, I am very much not dead. I am still Doom. The true Victor Von Doom. Can this day get any weirder? You may be Doom, but I can still take you out. Can you see him? Like Cap? No. No, no, I can't. But if he keeps monologuing, it's easy to target him. Put that bow and arrow down, Barton. One, it will do you no good. Two, I am not your enemy. Well, you are Dr. Doom, and you're apparently real, so you kind of are our enemy. You know, supervillain and all. Are you both imbeciles? One of us is. Don't insult yourself, Hawkeye. Are you quite finished? No. What do you know about what's going on here, Doom? I have the answers you seek, but you may not like them. Or what we have to do next. Because what we do next will either save the world and everyone in it, or destroy it all forever. Well... That's ominous. On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. If killing one person saves others, that's a trade I'll take any day. A trade I know all too well. Judy's not Red Skull. She's just got a lot of her father in her. Her father? Something you're not telling me? Judy's Arno's girl. Arno Stark. By using AIM LMD tech without their knowledge, you can be in every small city at once, delivering the same speech. They'll fall for the very thing they despise, and you'll be Red Skull's successor, and the country will quickly unify under your presidency. Fantastic work, you bad bastard. We came here to sort this threat. He's the threat. He's who's gotten to Judy. You don't get to save everybody, Nat doesn't make us any better, just weaker. Killing him will only drive Judy deeper. There's no Hulk, that's the thing! It's clobbering time! Flame on! Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. 
Starring Dylan Baker as Dr. Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Jay Hotham. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova, Craig Bierko as Captain America, Sharice Booth as Jean Grey, Amber Gray as Judy Stark, Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid, Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards, Nadine Malouf as Cora, Danny McCarthy as Iron Man, James Meredith as Reed Richards, Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards, Jeff Perry as narrator, Clark Peters as Professor X. Jane Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Ramiz Monsef as Magneto. Mary Hollis Emberden as Zelda. Gabe Ruiz as Hulk number one. Tom Sesma as Hulk number two. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torrance. Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers, Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Kokomo, written by Michael Love, Terry Melcher, Scott McKenzie, and John Phillips. Performed by the Beach Boys, courtesy of Walt Disney Records. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Ramo Law, PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. Wolverine, you alive under there? Uh, Natasha Romanoff? The Black Widow? Judith Stark became a loose cannon once her father Arno went mad. She's planning something big and ugly that makes this look like playtime. You up for a mission? Lead the way. Stark Industries was under Ames' control. My control. Until the Black Widow helped you reclaim it. Avengers! Us! Yes! You all! Am I? I am. Am. Well, well, what, what is happening there? It's... It's Cap. Captain America. But the city needs heroes. The city needs you. The city needs you. Cap wants us to go in there. Maybe that's what he needs our help for. But you really think that was Captain America? Join us now for an electrifying tale of valor and villainy. No stock designed prison can contain Now, my captors will face the unbridled wrath of Magneto, master of magnetism. Who will answer the call? Quick, look out! First on the scene, the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man swings into action, saving the lives of countless pedestrians. Wrong! Still so wrong. So first on the scene, the Fantastic Four in their fantastic glory. Torch, thing, invisible woman, on my command. Flame on! 
The human torch ignites, blazing headlong in danger. Sue, we're gonna need more. Where's Frank? No! Wait, wait, no! You insult me with this pettiness. With a flick of the wrist, Magneto pulls the spire of the Empire State Building clean off, hurling it directly at our heroes. Captain America is on the scene, miraculously catching the spire. With all his might, he hurls it back like a javelin. Heroes, if you're out there, it's time. Avengers, assemble! Please, this, this world doesn't need more heroes. <laughs> really, guys? I leave home for five minutes? What did you say? I leave home for five minutes? What did you say? I leave home for five minutes? Iron Man quips that he left home for five minutes. Captain America figuratively challenges his sarcasm, to which... Oh, good, Cap. Take a breather. A risky run-in with a mutant that can literally control metal? Ugh, it's still not right! It's so insincere! Not at all like it was! The Cosmic Cube... It isn't working. It's not enough on its own. I need authenticity! Iron Man! Captain America! Find those who lived! Deliver me the heroes of old! Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 3 Heroes of Old. Clear, Logan. What's with the water? Tunnel's been abandoned for years. Once the tide got unpredictable, subways became a death trap. Great. Didn't get a good look at the forecast, did you? Tide forecasts are useless. Strikes without a moment's notice. We'll be quick. My source says this would be the cleanest way in. Any idea who this source is? Encoded messages. But they've gotten everything right so far. Back in the day, Tony had the end train stop right under Stark Tower. Iron Man rode the subway. It wasn't for him. It was so his employees couldn't blame the trains for being late. Charming. <sighs> Never thought he'd be breaking into Stark Tower to kill a Stark. I'd prefer not to kill Judy. We just gotta figure out what she's up to, and if need be, take her in. Take her in? There's no in. Those days are over. We're judge, jury, and executioner. Let's hold off on that last part. Unless absolutely necessary. If killing one person saves others, that's a trade I'll take any day. A trade I know all too well. Judy's not Red Skull. She's just got a lot of her father in her. Her father? Something you're not telling me? Judy's Arno's girl. Arno Stark. Right. Tony's crazy brother. And since when do you have a soft spot for Arno Stark? We spent some time down south together. Me, Arno, and Yelena. He brought me back to life. Sadly, I didn't do the same for him. Oh, so now you gotta spare his kid? I don't know. Maybe. Look, I did things I wasn't proud of down there. Things I've been trying to make up for since. We've all done things. Just because you got ledger fixing to do, it ain't gonna stop me from doing what needs to be done. It's not just about Judy. After the world changed, the way people looked at us changed too. History hasn't looked so kindly on old heroes like you and me. What do you care? We did the hard part. We kept those people safe. Sure, but back then we didn't care who got caught in our crosshairs, so long as we finished the mission. We were responsible for so much collateral damage. I've realized it doesn't have to be that way. We can do better. Don't you want to be better? If people get in my way, that's their problem. Which is why we do this my way. We stay in the shadows and avoid engaging innocence. Up ahead, that's our stop.
stand guard. I'll see if I can get into the service door keypad. Let me try a few combos. Shh, put those away. We're not breaking into a jewelry store. This is a highly sophisticated system. Whatever. You try your way. I'm scaling the building to see if there's a better way in. This is more complicated than the Onar system. Focus. Can't trip the system. That's an awful lot of noise. What the? Where did the guard come from? Is he dead? Nah. Pulled him off a sniper post. I took the brunt of the fall. He's just taking a nap. We talked about this. You talked about it. I found our way in. Let's see. Yeah, pocket knife. Bingo! Key card. Ugh, so primitive. I assume you're talking about the sophisticated system, not me. From here on out, we stay quiet. Two guards armed. Nine o'clock. Fall back. We go around. Ever since the new guy showed up, I've been pulling doubles. Shh. Sucks, man. How's the check? It's pretty great, actually. I'm about to kill that new Osborne hoverboard. Stand down. Yeah. Should check it out though, right? To be sure. Look and don't. They do the same to us. Hey! Anybody there? <laughs> what the? Freaky! There's a dart in my neck! What the hell was that? Oh. Trank Dart. He didn't need to die. Position 7. Now, Calling for backup. What about his Enemy buddy intrusion who's on about to call us in? See? We get to push on and that idiot still gets to see his kid on a hoverboard when this is all over. If you say so. Come on. In the air. Main server room. Can you get in or what? If they're anything like the security system, Tony Stark himself couldn't get in. Should have let me sound the guards when I had the chance. Might as well go down swinging. <laughs> no, 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 I just need more time. Dark security, open up! I think I may be of some assistance. Jarvis? Let's go, let's go! Moving down the stairs! Welcome back to Stark Tower, Natasha. Logan, you look... well. You're a bad liar, Jarvis. I know I look like hell. So you're here to haul us in, or what? Quite the contrary. I would like to assist in your mission. Which is precisely why I've redirected the guards and led you here. Wait. You're my source? That I am. I also managed to hide your splashy arrival from Judy. Did you really think entering with brute force would work? Yes. Of course you did, Wolverine. So, what's happening here? What's gotten into Judy? More like who? For the past several weeks, a new voice has had Judy's ear. One with devious intentions. One that presumes they know how to crunch numbers and algorithms better than I. Oh, you sound jealous, Jay. Preposterous. But I'd rather he be gone. Judy Stark has strayed from her path, no doubt. But if we eliminate this bad influence, it's my belief she can still be saved. Where we come in, who is it? He's been known by many names, but you'll remember him as the Mad Thinker. Here, see for yourself. Pulling up main laboratory cameras. Excellent. No, fantastic. Is this a live feed? It is. I assume the lady Stark is the old man this mad thinker? That's correct. He's insufferable. Here, have a listen. Shall we run numbers? You know my answer. Allow me to fire up my handheld device to aggregate data and log our findings. And uh, here we go. 
<laughs> so, once AIM falls and we have the president's quarters, there is an 86% chance Osborne City goes for you. Love that. But market fluctuations will see Stark Industries drop 12% over the reporting year. Don't love that. Oh, but if we take possession of AIM's life model decoy technology, we curb that by 6%. And how would this affect the bigger plan? Hmm. Hmm. Good ask. What is it? Allow me to cross my numbers with the aggregate data. Nothing we can't fix. As a matter of fact... We're back. As I expected, we get the troglodytes by moving away from AIM Tech. Go on. Yes. Yes. If we do a series of in-person appearances... FaceTime, right. Rushmore will be yours. Yes. Electroville next. Yes. Pastepot Creek. Yes. And then Rock Springs. Oh, I love it. Oh. If it doesn't happen in tandem, there's a 62% chance they push back. Out of pure stubbornness not to conform. <sighs> the non-wisdom of crowds. I don't like those odds. Find another way. Interesting. Most interesting. Interesting indeed. Spit it out. By using AIM LMD tech without their knowledge, you can be in every small city at once, delivering the same speech. They'll fall for the very thing they despise, and you'll be Red Skull's successor, and the country will quickly unify under your presidency. Fantastic work, you mad bastard. I'm not that, you know. What? A bastard? The thinker forgets nothing. There's nothing crazy about planning for every eventuality, if anything, it's crazy to not. You know I agree, Julius. I got carried away. Remember, our bigger plan only works if your calculations are exactly correct. My calculations are always correct, Miss Stark. Any idea what the big plan is? Sadly, they've gone to great lengths to keep me in the dark. But I have my own plan to help flush this thinker out. I've enlisted the help of an old friend of yours. I hope you don't mind. Depends what friend. Kinetic Information Mitigator. In English, please? She's the me over at the Onar. And she's absolutely marvelous. Am I supposed to know what the Onar is? A 110-story residential building Natasha knows all too well. Judy Stark holds a powerful position on the board there. That's where Kim comes in. Kim? What, what, the two of you have become friends? For lack of a better word, yes. We've even been more than friends. Pass. Yeesh. Kim can get Judy a message from the Onar if it's an aim-level threat. Judy will drop everything and go there, but it has to be both believable and urgent enough. Easy. Tell her a junior analyst intercepted an AIM transmission using their own IP address. She won't be able to resist putting some overeager kid in their place, not after the last AIM crisis. Excellent. With Judy gone, you two can move freely to the lab and take out this thinker. But be quick. We'll have limited time. Great. Let's do it. It's worked. Judy's exiting to the helipad. I've unlocked a path to the service elevator. You should go unnoticed if you're cautious. Now let's move, quickly. Let's move quietly. Mm. Thanks, Jay. I'll find a way to repay you. Do it by restoring order here at Stark Tower. I know you can. Godspeed, Black Widow. <laughs> Come on, Widow, keep up! Oh, it's easy for you to say. You have an inherent advantage when it comes to climbing elevator shafts. It wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to play it safe. What, the thinker won't see us coming? Isn't that the thinker's uh, whole thing? See the thing's coming? Yeah, well, still, the element of surprise gives us an advantage. 
Which we'll need to interrogate her if we only get one shot at this. We do only get one shot. And trust me, if push comes to shove, I'm taking a shot. You ready? Yeah, let's go. This place is empty. Black Widow and Wolverine. Just as my probabilities predicted. Oh, yeah? Did your probabilities predict this? Logan. Do you actually want my answer, or are you exercising your primitive reflexes? Put the claws away. He's no good to us dead. Do not fret, my dear. He won't do it. Even in that thick adamantium skull, he knows you have a better chance of getting what you came here for with me alive. 92% to be exact. <sighs> Can't with the odds. Only reason you're alive is because she's here. Technically correct. But would you have made it here at all if not for her? I've got this. What are you and Judy planning? Oh, I wouldn't say I'm planning anything. I'm just advising Judy on the potential outcomes of her needs. You got one more chance to say something useful. Okay, look. If I'm being honest... I couldn't care less about this political theater. Whatever this petty power squabble is between Judy Stark and AIM, it bores me. Then what are you doing here? My calculations say this is the quickest way to get what I need. Your head cut off? Oh, I very much like my head where it is. It does its best work there. What's your end game? Truth is, my focus has never shifted over the years. It's never left. Doom. As in, Doctor? Victor Von Doom, yes. Isn't he dead? Hasn't stopped him before. You all really don't know, do you? <laughs> What's happening out in California? The nuclear wasteland? Whispers of reincarnation? A return to the glory days? This is some kind of trick. Well, frankly, I believe what's happening out there is a trick. An elaborate ruse with something catastrophic lying on the horizon. And it reeks of none other than Doom himself. You're Stalin! Get to the part where it matters. My calculations say there's a 77% chance that Doom is the string puller. And why should we care about your calculations? All my calculations have led to this exact moment. With these exact people. Yourselves included. That right? I still don't have the variable. In fact, given the margin of error, it was a real gamble luring you here. But our fates appear to be tied. At least for now. Okay, I've heard enough. Doom? California? He's buying time. I'm opening his throat. What are the odds that does the trick, Tinker? No, we can't. We can! We came here to sort this threat. He's the threat. He's who's gotten to Judy. You don't get to save everybody, Nat. It doesn't make us any better, just weaker. Killing him will only drive Judy deeper. And what if he's telling the truth about California? Maybe he could prove useful. Please, do have the discussion. It's equal parts riveting and informative. But I can now say with a 98% certainty that you will spare my life. So, let's skip to the part where you get rid of and all now oh! I don't think he saw that coming. He's how cold. <laughs> Jarvis, you back? Yes, thank you. It's good to be back in control. You catch any of that? I did. I also come bearing bad news. Kim held Judy as long as she could, but she is returning and quite aggravated. She'll touch down in approximately two minutes. We don't want an aggravated Stark coming home to trespassers. Judy has called for reinforcements. I can delay, but not for long. Let's grab him and go! I've seen these before. I'm pretty sure it's a portal. To where? And who's doing it? Jarvis? Any ideas? Massive energy readings. And... No, that can't be correct. What can't? It's... Hey, pals. Long time no see. Sorry about the whole being dead thing. Tony? Sir, is it really you? Last I checked. In the interest of time, Jarvis, I'm going to table the fact you've let my lab go. So, Widow and Wolverine, 
I'm gonna need you to come with me. It's a trick. It's gotta be. You know he's dead. Hmm. Feel very much alive. AMA. Ask me anything. You ever take the subway to work? <laughs> come on. I did have the end stop here so my people would quit blaming the trains for being late. Natasha? You heard him. This feels right. He feels like the Tony I knew. If you're not gonna trust me, at least trust my senses. Something's off. He doesn't smell right. Weird. Just weird, man. But look, I get it. Dead guy shows up trying to help you. I'd be skeptical, too. Hell, I know I wouldn't believe me. But you, Black Widow, you believe in fate. You want to live in a world where you can actually make a difference. What are you suggesting? Oh, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm offering you a shot at redemption. A real shot. To get things back to the way they were. Isn't that what you want? To be the heroes of old? Natasha, it's not too late to finish what we started. We got the thinker. Let's get the jump on Judy and then take her out before... Logan, I can't. Before she carries out her plan and more people get her. And then what? Do it all over again with whoever tries to take power next? At which point are we just the new villains? Call us whatever you want, but this is a trap. We go through that portal, odds are we end up at some prison. Think I knew you'd be looking for an out. Because you don't want to be the one who kills her. And you don't have to. It can be me. And it should be me. But don't fall for whatever this is. This could be bigger than all that. What if we somehow go back? Look, guys, this portal doesn't last forever. I feel like my speech was pretty solid. So if you're in, you're going to need to come now. They need you right away. They? You'll see. You're just going to have to come through the portal with me. Now or never. Don't do it for me. Do it for Arno. Do it for Yelena. I know they'd want you to be the hero the world needs. I'm going, Logan. I know it seems crazy, but somehow I think this is how I make things right. I get it if you don't want to stick with me. <sighs> Lucky for you, sticking with my team is my curse. I'm always the last one standing. I got a real bad feeling. But you're not going in alone, Natasha. You go. I go. We all go into the portal. Whoa! Ah! What happened? I'm sad to report the perpetrators have escaped the building. Cut the crap, Jarvis. I know about your little scheme. I'm sorry? You should be. But luckily, me and Julius were ten steps ahead of you, thanks to his calculations. Funny, with all your programming, you didn't even realize when you were being manipulated yourself. I... don't understand. Of course not. Which proves how antiquated you are. Jarvis, initiate termination EXE. Your services are no longer required. Yes, ma'am. It's been an honor serving the Starks. I hope... You find your way. So, what do we got, Thinker? Still not enough data to know where the odds point. But I was able to plant the tracking device on your old friend, Natasha. Excellent. Now we wait and see where the Black Widow leads us. Sierra 2, you see anything? Nothing. But there was never a base here. AIM Sierra Recon team reporting to base. Visibility is less than 10 here at the wasteland perimeter. Sierra 2, circle back to zero. Uh, copy that, Sierra 1. On my way to you. What the hell happened here? I don't know, man, but it... it... What was that? Not sure. It sounded like a spider. I don't know. Radiation can do funny things. That was no spider. Should we abort? No way the reports are true. This used to be Hulk territory. <laughs> Nothing can kill. A Hulk? <laughs> that no Hulk. That's the thing. It's clobbering time! Stay where you are. Fire! <laughs> Get away, break through it! Hold on. 
hold the line. <gasps> Looking for me? Isn't that the lady from our files? The, the one who stole all those weapons a while back? Ah, you gonna lock me up? Identify yourself now. I am Valeria Richards. And this here is the Cosmic Cube. So quit mumbling and show some damn respect. Yes. So sorry. We'll be on our way, Valeria. I, I mean, Miss Richards. <laughs> Flame on. <sighs> Add them to the collection. But don't be long, Uncle. We have more visitors coming. On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. Valeria has gained possession of the Cosmic Cube. I think we have to find some other way to get to Valeria Doom. Uh, I thought you'd say that. Oh, cried. Hawkeye Cube's gonna blast. <laughs> Natasha, Logan, welcome. Where are we? What is this? It's the, the city. It's the city. And here we are. Avengers Mansion. It's... It's... It's just like it was. It's just how I remember it. Logan? Logan! Are you okay? Natasha. Tony, I, I thought you were in the solarium. Logan? Never mind about Logan now. Jarvis will take care of Logan. I'm so glad I found you. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Senior. Original sound design by 1000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Nick Bernadone. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova, Craig Vierko as Captain America, Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Malouf as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as Narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. Jane Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by David Kale as Jarvis. Gina Daniels as Aim Beekeeper number one. Ethan Dubin as Man's Voice. Shane Kenyon as Stark Guard 2. Ramiz Monsef as Magneto. Richie Nash as Aim Beekeeper number two. Gabe Ruiz as Human Torch. Tom Sesma as The Thing. Liz Sharp as Stark Guard 1. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producer is Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Fringling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Ramo Law, PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. There's this, like, glowing wall right at the border, all shimmery light and energy. Quill! 
I, I can see Cap. He's glowing. It's... Hey, pals. Long time no see. Sorry about the whole being dead thing. Tony? Sir. Look, guys, this portal doesn't last forever. Jarvis, initiate termination EXE. It's been an honor serving the Starks. I am very much not dead. I am still Doom. The true Victor Von Doom. Can this day get any weirder? I am not your enemy. Don't let that out too far. No, I've got it. I have... Tight. I know how to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not too much. Good. Okay. Tell me a story, Victor. Oh, Valeria. You're well into adolescence. Do old for children's stories. Concentrate on your work. What is the next step in creating a portal Uh, to the negative zone? hmm? Next, I calibrate the power source on the emitter, Uh tune it to the correct frequency, Uh and route it through the amplifier. And then... Why won't you teach me how to do it the way you do? With magic. Wouldn't that be easier? Uh, Maybe. When you're older. (laughs) For now... Technology will suffice. Now, what do you do next? Hmm? I use the emitter to open the portal uh-huh. by making a circle in the air. Uh-huh. I know how to do this, Victor. I designed the circuitry. I'm bored. Tell me a story. Stop delaying. If it's so easy, simply do it. <sighs> Fine. But talk to me while I'm doing it. Tell me something. I'll tell you about the time. Oh, this is good. I conquered the negative zone. Oh, Uh, gee, which time you conquered the negative zone? Boring. Tell me, tell me about you and my father. You know all about that. No, I don't. I know, like, the broad strokes. Tell me some details. Tell me about teenaged Reed Richards oh. and teenaged Victor Von Doom. We were not teenagers. It wasn't like that. You met in college, right? Freshman year? Well, Reed was a teenager. I was a man. I had already achieved more than Reed Richards could have ever dreamed. But you were both, like, freshmen in college at the same time. And basically the same age. I was invited to attend Empire State University. Requested. Richards merely applied. There was nothing you liked about him? Nothing at all? He was arrogant. I could see that right away. Rude. Never knew his place. A little puffed up peasant. (laughs) And always with his rowdy, uncouth friend, Grimm. We're not talking about Ben. We're talking about you and my father. I don't see why. And be careful. Watch what you're doing with that circuitry. It's delicate. It's fine. See? The power source is properly connected. Yeah. I flip the switch and... Well done, Valeria. Ah, but you have more to do before it's fully functional. (sighs) My father, Reed. (sighs) Tell me what you thought of him, really. Uh, He had some gifts, uh, some intellect, uh, perception, insight. His mind is nimble enough. Honestly, he didn't even really understand the gifts he had. He had this way, this extremely frustrating way of seeing a problem, not understanding what the problem was, not knowing why it was wrong or how to fix it exactly, but he could simply look at something and see what was wrong. (laughs) Looking at an experiment or a machine and seeing how it was flawed And then, the audacity to just say it. To me, his superior. 
<laughs> Wait. You were equals then? Uh, we were never equals. And never will be. You know this. You could be studying with him right now. You could be with your mother, your brother, with your family, safe and sound in your tower back in New York City. You, Valeria Megan Richards, you could be one of them. A Fantastic Four, an Avenger, or whatever other teams they have now. You could do anything with your time, but you came here to Latveria, to me, to learn to study, to know the things that I know. Clearly, you know that I have things to teach you that Reed Richards never could. How the universe truly works, how to achieve your full potential, how to bend this world to your will, how to remake it in your image. That is why you sought me out. That is what you are here to learn. And Reed never taught you anything? Gave you anything? Reed only took things from me. What about me? He let me come here. That is a quirk of fate. It's not fate that I'm here. Hmm? And it's not just for your knowledge that I'm here, Victor. What? It's because of my father that I'm here. Your father? You and him. You never want to see how alike you are. Oh. How much you overlap. Sure, you were only roommates for a second in college, but you've spent your entire lives together. Fighting, scheming, planning, and collaborating, working, sharing, hmm. entwined together. <laughs> I know you have changed my father. He denies it, too, avoids it. But I can tell that you did. Uh -huh. Not always in the best ways. Hmm. But you brought something out of him. Something no one else could have. Not even my mother. <laughs> I came here to show you that he brings something out in you. Oh. Oh. I'm here to remind you that in life, as in physics, when two particles interact, they are both changed. Forever. We have wasted enough time with idle chatter. Now, activate the device. Show me what you've done. Open the portal. <laughs> of course, Victor. And just a little here. And uh -huh. here we go. Good. Ah. Uh -huh. Good. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Valeria. Mm. <laughs> what I tell you? Very good. <laughs> Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 4, Marvel's. Valeria was not my child. And though I cared for her as if she had been, no matter how much guidance I showered upon her, it was invariably diluted by the influence of her ridiculous family. They poisoned her by constantly bathing her in the toxins of compassion and empathy, a tragedy of incalculable brainwashing and abuse. It seems they corrupted her true nature beyond even Doom's ability to repair. Now, if we are to save this world and everyone in it, we must find a way to destroy her. So, uh, what you're saying here, Doc, is that in order to save the world, you have to kill the unkillable Valeria Richards. Your sort of surrogate daughter and the only person in this world you really love. 
Well, that kind of sucks. Quill, how is Valeria doing this? What? What is Valeria doing? Valeria has gained possession of the Cosmic Cube. Or what is left of it. Oh, boy. That's not good. It is worse than you can imagine. Hmm. Over the years, the cube has degraded. It's been shattered and reformed, rebuilt, reborn, and reconfigured so many times. It is now fundamentally, fatally flawed. Huh. Any attempt to access its power will fail. The cube has a mind of its own and is not easily controlled. But Valeria doesn't care about any of that. I believe she wants to rebuild the world she knew. Uh, the world before V-Day? I mean, if she could do that, if she could handle power like that, rebuilding the world's not necessarily a bad thing, right? <sighs> With the cube in the state that it is in, it is a perilous thing. But you said the cube wouldn't work right. Maybe it's not really working at all. Even in its current damaged, unstable state, the cube possesses massive amounts of power. It could still vaporize the planet. Valeria may think that her will is strong enough to control that power, but she is wrong. All those nukes dropped on Hulkland, that was an attempt to stop her? The recorder believed... Oh, wait, hang on. What, Rick, you mean Cora? You met Cora? She came to me after your... misadventures. Hold on, wait, what are you talking about? Why would she do that? Why would anyone do that? Why would she work with you? Because she believed in Doom. Why else? Believed? Is she? Yes, she was destroyed by Valeria. I'm sorry to hear that. So this... this Cora person tried to nuke Valeria? Yes. But it only exacerbated the situation. Valeria is effectively immortal. She simply used the cube to absorb the energy from the nuclear weapons and is now using it to manipulate reality. The Captain America you both saw was an example of that power. Beyond this wall, I believe she has begun constructing a new world made up of similar beings. Beings she can control, use as she sees fit. Projecting that Captain America so far away from the source of her power has to be near the limits of her capacities. That is why he devolved so spectacularly. And who knows how many other creations she's made. How far she has sent them. Who she has tried to contact already. The entire effort is a massive drain on her. On the cube. Valeria will need more energy. More power to maintain it. Sending out Captain America and others like him must be an attempt to lure other real people into her control, to try to feed off of them. But no matter what, eventually it will be too much for the cube. It will shatter one last time, releasing all of its remaining energy. And taking the whole planet with it. Yes. Likely the very end of this world. Oh, boy. Cool! Quill! That is not cool! It is! It's stakes and drama and daddy issues and a surrogate daughter and saving the world, man! It's epic! Grand! This is hero stuff! We get to do hero stuff! Yes! Yes, hero stuff! That is exactly what is needed. Right, right. <laughs> Valeria's mind. It is nearly as fractured as the cube. She is clinging to a past that she can only barely remember. She is creating broken, 
shattered ghosts of a long-gone world. Everything beyond that world is an extension of her mind, and all of it will want to protect her, to do her will. See? There's even a damsel in distress. This is classic. Valeria is no damsel. Stop it, Quill. This is serious. I'm being serious. Doom, Mm -hmm. you said you had to destroy her. I fear it's the only way to stop her. To end this. She is controlling the cube. Without her, it will be inert again. All of this will simply vanish. The world lives. The world lives? Just like this? Mm. Yes. (sighs) See? We get to save the world. Come on, Hawkeye. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why aren't you going in, Doom? Quill and me, we're nothing compared to you. I'm blind and shoot arrows. Quill, Quill shoots his mouth off. I also have blasters. How are we supposed to stop a a mad, immortal super genius with an infinitely powerful object? Sounds like it's more up your alley. Valeria is familiar with me. She will know the moment Doom enters that place that her end has come, and how. She will turn all of her energies towards preventing it. Preventing what? Uh, Doom using this on her. What the hell is that? Some kind of gun with a radar dish jammed onto it? Let me see it. This is a molecule displacer. With this... I can banish Valeria and the cube back to the negative zone, never to return. What's the range on that? Can't you just zap her from here? I need to be in the room with her, be as close to her as I am to you. It's the only way it could possibly work. And even then, if she turns on me, if she uses the power of the cube against me before I can use this... Ah, I could not stand against her. But if her attention is diverted... Sure, by a couple of chumps making a mess, then you can do your thing. Yes, I'm glad that you understand me. Oh, yeah, I get you. Ah. Yeah, excuse me, anyone want to fill me in? I think I'm missing something. We're bait, Quill. He wants us to go in and let Valeria attack us while he slips in and kills her. And what happens to us while he's going after Valeria? Oh. Nah, that's less cool. We all do what we must. Yeah, but we're doing the dying here. And what if we don't? What if we don't go in there? We all, all of us... Die. Let me and Quill talk about this for a second, Doom. You have to discuss this. Saving the world? Uh, Yeah, since we're doing the messy part of saving the world, yes, we have to discuss this. Fine. You may have your second. Oh, thanks. Quill, lead me away from him. Uh, All right. We can duck behind a boulder here. Come on. Terrible feeling about this. What? Now? You have a bad feeling now? We we were just all set to go in there and find Cap and see what was happening. But now we know. We know what's happening in there. And it involves Doom and Valeria Richards and the Cosmic Cube. And that's a lot of factors. But people could still need our help in there. And there's the whole, the the cosmic cube could blow up the planet thing. Look, you know I do not like Dr. Doom, not at all. But he's kind of making sense here. There's clearly something bad happening here. World-ending, reality-disrupting bad. Who better to figure it out than you and me? Oh, he doesn't want us to figure out anything. He just wants us to go in there and get slaughtered. We're tough. I think we'll be fine. (laughs) You and me? We have skills, man. Talents. You have your fun arrows. I think we're perfect for this type of thing. Uh Uh-huh. That's exactly my point. What? We are not equipped for any of this. Anything like this. 
All of this is coming from Dr. Doom. I wouldn't trust him any further than I could throw him. He does look very heavy in all that armor. Can you be serious for even a second? Why? Why? Seriously, why? The world is a dumpster fire. There's a mad immortal with an object of unspeakable power rewriting reality right under our noses. The whole thing may blow up in our faces and reduce everything to stray atoms floating in an empty universe. Who can be serious with all that going on? Be serious right now. This is a suicide mission. You have a better plan? Maybe. Maybe we go to my kid, Ash. Your kid? As Zemo, she could do something. There are rumors. Oh my god. Rumors that Wolverine was the one to take out Red Skull. Maybe there are some other heroes still around. You think we have that kind of time? I don't know, Quill. I just... I don't know, but I just don't want to march into the unknown to die like this. That is a reasonable position, Barton. You are not supposed to be listening to us. Doom hears what he wishes. And he's really not that far away, you know, when you think about it. Look, uh... I think we have to find some other way to get to Valeria, Doom. Ah. Uh, I thought you'd say that. Oh, crud! Hawkeye Doom's gonna blast him! Oh. 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 Hawkeye! You okay? What the hell happened? Huh? Uh. Doom blasted us with that gauntlet thing. <laughs> Jerk. Well, well, why aren't we dead? We're not dead, right? No. Huh? No, not dead. He just pushed us through that weird energy wall into... Pushed us into what? Into where? Where? Dude, it's New York. New, New York City. I think. It's, it's, it's all glowy. Like Cap was. There's skyscrapers and people and cars. I think we're on... 43rd and Broadway? Times Square. Why, why, why can't you see anything? You can see Gap. No, I, I can't. It, it's, uh, it's too much. It's all too much. See, whatever's happening here, it's it's all the same. It's too bright. Everything's too bright for me to distinguish anything. Well, you're, you're, you're missing it, buddy. It's all of it. It's What? It's like it was before. The Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, billboards, taxis, hot dogs. You can, I can smell them. I can... Pretzels. Oh man, they smell good. It's a beautiful, clear spring day, Hawkeye. The sky is it's not it's not quite blue, really. It's it's shining. Everything has has a golden haze to it. It's perfect. Really, it's just perfect. There are people. There are people everywhere. People. People what people? There are people and they're happy. Suits, and hats, dresses. It's all, uh, it's all kind of old-fashioned, but nice. People should dress like this more often. It's beautiful. Are they? Are they real people? Hey! Watch where you're going, buddy. Oh. Felt real. Yeah! <laughs> They're all real. Where did they come from? Did Valeria create all of this? I, I, they, I have the same information you have, dude. No, this isn't right, man. This is not right. None of this is right. Ah! Whoa! What the hell was that? Holy crap, that bank just blew up. There's someone coming out. What? You won't believe this. What? 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 Talk to me, man. What is it? What's going on? It's the wrecking crew. They just robbed a bank. They're wrecking their way up the street. Watch out! In comes the ah. Yes, it is us. The wrecking crew. Nobody better try to stop us from robbing this bank. I said, nobody better try to stop us from robbing this bank. What are they doing? Like they're just standing there, posing. Huh. Like, like they're waiting for someone. Nobody better try to stop us from robbing this bank. I think they want us to stop them from robbing that bank. I think they're waiting for someone to come fight them. I think, I think we should, you know fight them. Why? Well, they robbed the bank. They threw a few cars around. They scared people. They're bad guys. That's exactly what Doom wants. He wants us to fight these mooks, keep Valeria's mind occupied so he can zap her. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, but they could kill us. 
He doesn't care if they kill us. Yeah, I know. So, maybe we should just make tracks yeah. and skedaddle yeah, on I'm out I'm gonna of go you. fight him. What? We Damn it, Quill! Him. Quill! Hey! Uh. Stop robbing that bank! You'll never stop us from robbing this bank! You guys really need a new catchphrase. Well, eat blaster! Wrecking crew! Attack! Quill! Quill, you alright? You okay? Yeah, kind of. They're, they're, they're chucking stuff in my direction, but they keep missing. Whoa! Are they hurting people? No, no I'm telling you, their aim sucks, but the people are running scared. I, I, I bet you could take them out with an arrow. Aim for my voice, huh. but don't hit me. Fire in the hole! Ah. That did it, they're down. Nice shot, dude. You saved us. Yeah. The hero saved us. Yeah, you it's all in a day's work. You Who are saved us. I don't like this quill. Yeah, yeah, okay. You saved us. Why do you sound like that? I don't look, we we you saved us. Well, now you can back up, right? No need to get grabby. You saved us. You saved us. You saved us. Quill! Quill! Hands off! Hands off! You saved us. 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 Natasha, Logan, welcome. Where are we? What is this? It's the uh, city. It's the city. See, isn't it amazing? Spectacular. This looks like New York. Old New York. New York the way it used to be. But all this is gone. It's destroyed. We were just there. Not here. Here, everything is perfect. Isn't it perfect? I told you, this is where you were meant to be. Then, none of this smells right. Feels right. I used to get coffee in that coffee shop. This has got to be some kind of trick. Some hologram. Something. Something the mad thinker is doing. This can't be real. It is. And it could be your home. All of our home. Here we can be the heroes we were meant to be. Here we can remake the world the way it's supposed to be. Bullshit. Logan. You're not buying this crap, are you? Well, look around. Can you explain any of this? We're in New York City. Tony is alive. He's right there. But where did it all come from? How did it get here? Who made all this? We're in Hulkland, right? This is supposed to be a nuclear wasteland. You sound disappointed. You're damn straight up disappointed. I just want someone to explain any of this. Right now. When we get to the mansion, you'll find the answers you seek. The mansion? Avengers Mansion? It's just this way. Avengers Mansion was destroyed. Not here. Just follow me. Tell me you're not falling for this trick. I know it's wrong, but look around, Logan. It's like it was. It's just like I remember it. There's something happening here, something big. We have to find out what it is. We can make this fake Tony tell us. By what? Killing him? Like you killed the Red Skull? How did that work out for everyone? This is some kind of trap. But we won't know who's behind it until we spring it. So cool your claws for a couple of minutes. Oh my god! No! That bank just exploded and, and coming out of the smoke is that... <laughs> it can't be. That's right. It's me. Baron Zemo. Who's he talking to? Um, to me, my masters of evil. And the masters of evil, they don't exist anymore. They turned into the Thunderbolts. And Zemo has his own kingdom. Not so fast, Zemo. The invincible Iron Man is here to stop you. Drop that money. Eat repulsor rays. The invincible repulsor? Does Tony talk like that? Did he ever? Blast. I am my dastardly plans are foiled again! The masters of evil will fight you, Baron Zemo! Black Widow, Wolverine, you want to help here? The masters of evil are going to go after those civilians. Are these even real people? Help us! Please, someone save us! They seem pretty real to me. Natasha, what are you doing? What I can. Watch out! 
Zemo, you'll never hurt this city again. You never stop me, Iron Man. My superior intellect will always win out. None of this makes any sense, Natasha. More punching, Logan. Less arguing. <laughs> Give it up, Simo! You know you'll never win! They just disappeared. That was something. It was like they just collapsed into nothing. And everyone is just going on about their business. Like none of it happened. Come on, you lazy mutts. Back on your feet. Avengers Mansion is just this way. Follow me! I don't like walking into traps, Natasha. We have to see where this goes if we're going to figure anything out. And here we are. Avengers Mansion. It's... It's... It's just like it was. It's just how I remember it. I grew up here, you know. Right in this very house. Before I donated it to the Avengers. Very generous of you, sir. Jarvis? The real human Edwin Jarvis alive again? Jarvis comes with the house. Jarvis, you've been dead for years. Well, no one told me. Jarvis will die at his post. He already did. He died right here. And then you turned him into an AI, Tony. You seem pretty spry to me, old man. Let's go inside. I'll have refreshments in the solarium for you all. Everything, every trophy, Kang's Time Blaster, Grim Reaper's Scythe, Nefarious Cape. Wait, is that a Reed Richards coma cannon? That was never here. Where else would it be? Avengers Mansion is where it belongs. Where you all belong. I was never an Avenger. Oh, yes, you were. Yes, you were. Most definitely, Mr. Logan. Uh, I never got to hang out here. You're welcome here now. You're all welcome. All are welcome. All are welcome. All are welcome. Tony. All are welcome. It's like he's a broken record. All are record. welcome. I'm sure all I don't welcome. know what you mean. All are You're welcome. Not this? All I'm sure are I don't welcome. Know what you mean. All are welcome. You really have to see the solarium. The view is amazing. It's just this way, sir. I know where the solarium is, Jarvis. Of course you do, sir. It's this way. How far are we gonna go with this? As far as we have to. None of this is good, now. We have to get out of here. I want to find out what's going on. And the only way to do that is by going with them and seeing where they lead. We're in crazy town. It's New York City, complete with superheroes and supervillains who just disappear. None of this should exist. None of this should be here. How is it here? Where did it come from? And why am I the only one asking these questions? Why are you just playing nice with someone who obviously is not Tony Stark? Because don't you want it all to have been worth it? To amount to something? All the loss, all the pain, all the death, shouldn't it pay off somehow? Mean something? I don't know what this place is. I don't know why it's here, but I need to know. I can't just return to the shattered nightmare we're living in. What, what if this is somehow impossibly real? What if we can get it all back? Everything we lost. Can't we at least look for something better? Hurry it up! We don't have all day! Jarvis has tea in the solarium! It's quite lovely. Come on, they're waiting. Let's go. What the hell? Logan? Logan! Are you okay? Natasha? Tony, I, I thought you were in the solarium. You weren't there. Why would I be there? Do you know where this wall came from? I don't remember it. Logan? Never mind about Logan now. Jarvis will take care of Logan. I'm so glad I found you. And so glad you came. We could feel you. Feel your memories. Even all the way across the country. We knew you had what we needed. We? Who's we, Tony? Who is behind all of this? We needed you. To make this place better. To make it perfect. We need your memories. To fix it. Tony, I'm serious. Move away from me. We need me. you, Natasha. Need you. But need you. Go with me. Let go. Settle down. Need you. 
Need you. Meanie need you. Don't make need me hurt you. you, Tony. Please. Need you, don't make you. me hurt you. My need little you. things you. can hurt you. Need you. I don't want to. I don't need want you. to do it, Tony. Need you. I'm need so, you. So sorry. Need you. <laughs> Goodbye, Tony. <sighs> Logan. Logan. <laughs> Tony. Let go of me. Let I go you. of my arm. We need you. Let go. We need you. We need you. Need you. Need you. On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. Natasha! Natasha! Where the hell did Jarvis go? This place is like a maze. Your whole <sighs> life has been a maze, Logan. You're not genie. Get out of my head! Let's talk. You and I. What if there was a way to rest? You can't run away, Natasha. You will be remade. Oh, that sounds terrible. I don't think so. There's no way to run to. You can't trust me, Clint. Oh, man. It's a cap again. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Dr. Doom. Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Senior. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Jay Holtham. Featuring performances by Eva Amore as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Malouf as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Carey as Narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Tom as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Kaliswa Brewster as Bystander 1, David Kale as Jarvis, Ethan Dugan as Bystander 4, Deanna Myers as Bystander 3, Richie Nash as Man on the Street, Richie Nash as The Wrecker, Abby Pierce as Bystander 2, Liz Sharp as Bystander, with additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynette. Produced by Jenny Bradlett Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denadio. Audio post production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al Rahim. KT People and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers, Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Long. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Series XM in association with Wade Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a SAG after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. Doom blasted us with that gauntlet thing. <laughs> he just pushed us through that weird energy wall into... It's New York. New New York City. Woo! Beautiful. That did it. They're down. Nice shot, dude. I don't us. like this, Quill. Y- yeah, you yeah, okay. Saved us. Why do you, you sound like that? Us. Okay. Quill! Hey, 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 hands off! Hands off! Hands off. Hands off. Hands off. And here we are. Avengers Mansion. It's 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 just like it was. 
It's just how I remember it. Logan! <laughs> Tony, let go of me. Let I told go you of my arm. We need you. Let go. Meanwhile, in the spectacular Baxter Building, in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, Reed Richards, better known as Mr. Fantastic, the brains of the Fantastic Four, is hard at work. Now, if my calculations are correct, and they usually are, then once I flip this switch, I'll be able to... But Richards doesn't notice the ominous shadow at his window, the frightening visage of Dr. Doom. Victor... Have you come for our final battle? I don't have time to keep playing pretend in your fantasy world. We don't have time for any of this. Yes. Then you step, Doctor Doom, and I'll use this portal blaster to send you to the negative zone. Malaria. Or the dark dimension. Somewhere nasty and evil and not at all fun. Even the deadly Doctor Doom quakes in fear at the mention of the terrifying negative zone. Stop! Stop this nonsense. Now. You know I can't do that, Victor. The two greatest minds in the universe square off for another battle of wits. Make it stop. Can the dreadful Doctor Doom ever outwit Mr. Fantastic himself? Please. I just want to talk to you. How will the brilliant... I don't think we need you right now. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to be alone with the villainous Doctor Doom? You can go. How did you find me, Victor? Where else would you be? Where else is home? You always loved the Baxter building. Your recreation is good. Detailed. Almost like the real thing. It was my favorite place. It was always my favorite place until... It wasn't. But now I have it back. Just like it was. It's a pale imitation. A sad, hollow echo. I'm going to make it better. Ah! There's your true voice, Valeria. Not this puppet show. Now we can talk. Hmm? There's, There's no, no need, need to talk. I'm, I'm going, going to, to make, make it perfect. perfect. I'm, I'm going, going to get, get it all back. Everything I lost. At what cost? At any cost. You can't continue. You can't keep going with this. Are you here to stop me? Have you come all this way to stop me? I would. If you were actually here, drop this charade. Stop imitating your father's voice. And show me your true face, Valeria. No more lies. No more illusions. No more of these silly little dramas. No more hiding behind false faces, false voices. No more masks of people long dead and gone. Read. Captain America, Iron Man, they are all dead. Let them be dead. Stop pretending to be people you are not. Come and face me. Come, and Doom will help you. I want to help you, Valeria. I want to save you from yourself. From these lies. Lies are all I have left. But I can make these lies true. I can remake this world. You cannot control the Cosmic Cube. It will destroy everything. Look around you. Look at what I have built already. What I've made. And I'm just starting. People are being drawn here. They are coming here. Wolverine. Black Widow. Star-Lord. Hawkeye. I have them here. In my control already. More will come. And with each of them comes memories, emotions, feelings, images of the way the world used to be. Every corner of the city, every building, every street vendor and passerby, I can draw on their minds, their memories, use them to fill in the details, to make it perfect. You call them masks, illusions. But when they see their old friends, hear their voices, they will want to stay. They will give me their very essences. The Cosmic Cube can take their emotions and make them real. I will 
will drain their very souls to finish the work. Even you. Your memories of my father. They can help me. <laughs> if you want to help me, Victor, that is how you do it. Join me. We could do this together. This is what you've always wanted, isn't it? You and me, side by side, ruling the world. The cube will leave nothing left for anyone to rule. The great Victor Von Doom, afraid of the consequences of using power. I never thought I'd see it. I never thought you would be this reckless. What you call recklessness, I call vision. What does your vision tell you I have in my hands? Oh, oh Victor. Very clever. You brought the real portal blaster. Rebuilt it from my collection, did you? And you think that will work on me? It could. And you know Doom has powers beyond even this device. I could give you what you truly want. Oblivion. An end to all of it. That is what I wanted, but now, I think my goals have changed. I could have let the nukes destroy me, destroy all of us, but I didn't. Because I saw what could be possible, what I could do if I only had enough power. I know what you really want. I know what this is all really about, but you cannot do it. Even with the power of the cube, it's impossible, Valeria. Ah, more things in heaven and earth than in your philosophy, Victor. I will find you. Wherever you really are, Valeria, doom will always find you. And doom will stop you. Hmm. You're welcome to try, Victor. You're welcome. The devious Dr. Doom alone in the heart of the Baxter building? That can mean only one thing. It's clobberin' time! Here comes the thing! The human torch, the invisible woman, all of the fantastic force smashing through the wall to save the day! Yes, save the day. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 5 The Old Familiar Places. Hurry it up! We don't have all day! Jarvis has tea in the solarium! It's quite lovely. Come on, Logan. They're waiting. Let's go. Damn! Natasha! This wall dropped out of nowhere! Natasha! Can't cut through! What the hell is this made of? Natasha! Natasha! Jarvis! Jarvis! Where the hell did Jarvis go? There has to be some way around here. Some way through. We came in this way, right? This place is like a maze! Your whole huh? life has been a maze, Logan. No. You're not Genie. You're not Jean Grey. Get out of my head! You've never been able to truly find your way. Not without help. I can tell you're not her. You talk like her. Your voice sounds like hers. You want me to think you're her, but you're not! How will you find your way out of the maze of your own soul? Show yourself! Stop lying to me! Or what, Logan? You'll kill me? Again? I'll kill all of you! That's always your answer. More violence. More death. The Red Skull. The X-Men. Me? Where does the death stop, Logan? You're not fooling me! Whatever this place is, whoever is really in charge here, I'm not falling for it. You're not? Not falling for anything, are you, Logan? 
Neat trick. Making the floor disappear like that. Where did I drop into? Hard truth, Logan. <sighs> this is cute. First Avengers Mansion. Now Xavier School. Do you fool other people with this garbage? You can't even tell what's real and what's not anymore. The Xavier School is long gone. Not in this place. We're all still here, Logan. Cyclops. Charles. Kitty. Colossus. Nightcrawler. Rogue. All here, alive and well. And you can stay here with us. You don't get it. I'm not playing them. I'm not playing your game. Now get out of my head! I should have known I couldn't fool you. Yeah, my brain's been scrambled and unscrambled and stirred around too much. It takes more than you got to muck with it. I probably shouldn't have tried. Nah, you shouldn't have. Yeah, fine then. Let's talk. You and I. Are you gonna let me find Natasha? And what would that accomplish? More fighting? More struggling? She and I, we can find a way out of here. And into what? What does this world have to offer you? What kind of life? I already told you. I'm not buying into your lies. Into this made-up fantasy. That's not the only option here. I know you'll never stop fighting as long as you're alive. Damn right. But what if there was another option? What if there was a way to rest? To lay down all your burdens? All of those memories? All of that pain? Forever. What if I could give you peace? A true, lasting peace. You can't kill me. I can do many, many things. The power of the cube is great. The cube? The cosmic cube? <laughs> How do you think all of this has been achieved? You. Whoever you are, you have the cube. But it can do so much. It could give you a peace you've never known. The rest you deserve. You've earned it, Logan. And what happens to everyone else? Haven't you done enough for everyone else? Haven't you paid enough for your sins? How much more blood and pain do you have to give? Stop it! Stop trying to confuse me! Nothing confusing about it at all. I'm offering you a final release. From all of it. From the weight of what you've done. Don't you want that? Isn't that all you've ever wanted? Stop it! This is an illusion! A lie! Nothing you've offered me is real! I, I have to get out! Find Natasha! Get out of here! Sure, Logan. Keep fighting. Keep on fighting. Forever and ever. I'm not giving up, not to you, whoever you really are! You know you want what I'm offering you. I have to find Natasha! 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 Natasha, we uh, need you. We need you. We need you. I destroyed you. you. I destroyed need you with you. my sting, Tony. It's not that easy. What are you doing? Get off! Your touch. I felt like you were draining something from me, draining everything from me. We need you. I need you. Look, Tony, if there's any of you in there, any part of you that's you, please let me go. Natasha, we, we, we can't. We can't let you go. Not until we have enough to rebuild, to truly rebuild this world. Whatever is happening here, it's not right. It's not natural. It's not good. Not for me, not for you, not for anyone. And it has to stop, Tony. You have to know that. We're building a better world. You can be a part of that. Who's we? Who's in charge here? You're not, Tony. Who are you really? Tell me who you are. I'm trying to help you. Try to save you. Give me what I need. Wait, whose voice is that? Someone's speaking through you. Give, Give me what, what I need! You can't run away, Natasha! You will be remade! Oh, that sounds terrible. I don't think so. There's nowhere to run to! The mansion was never a maze like this. There has to be some other way out of here, something... This is the mansion, the Avengers Mansion. I know this place. I know how it works. My stings may not work on you, Maybe they'll work on the walls. Do you know why your stings don't work on me? Maybe you don't want them to. 
You don't want to hurt me. You want to help me. Help me. Help me! I have to get out. Okay, I think I can use my stings to blast a hole in the wall. Big enough. I gotta get into that air shaft. And get out of here. Natasha Romanoff, running away! Never thought I'd see it. I can't help you, Tony. I can't. You can't escape from me! You can't escape from yourself! I can try. I have to try. Impossibly. Dr. Doom holds his own against the combined might of the Fantastic Four. We won't go down that easy, Vic. You tell him, Ben. Just give up, Victor. You can't beat all of us. You've never been able to beat us. Ben, John, Sue, attack now! Enough! Enough of this, Valeria. Enough of these games. Face me now! Face me! Why resist this, Victor? Why hold back? None of it is real, Valeria. It's as real as you make it. As you feel it. You know, I can sense your true feelings. I can tell how much you want them back. Just like I do. If you give in, I can bring them back. I can bring them all back. You will fail, Valeria. They will stop you, resist you. Who? Who can deny me other than you? Do you not feel them, the heroes? All of the people you have lured here. I can feel it. They are fighting you. They can't fight me forever. And neither can you. They will never stop. They will never give in. No matter what you dangle in their faces, no matter how you try to bend their minds, they will find each other. They will save each other. And they will stop you! I never thought you'd side with heroes, Victor. I side with myself. And I only want to help you. There is another way, Valeria. There is another way. Oh, no, 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 faster, faster, come on, let's go faster, run, Hawkeye, they're gaining us. Where, Quill, Quill, where are we? I need you to be my eyes here. This place doesn't make any sense, it looks like New York, but the streets go in weird ways, it's like it's shifting all around us, just, just keep running, follow the sound of my voice. Uh, good thing you never shut up. Ah! Well, I'm glad being chased by a bizarre mob of energy vampires hasn't hurt your sense of humor at all. Are they undead? Are they living? They're chasing us. That's the important part, right? Okay, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on. Let's duck into the store. Maybe we can give them the slip. Oh. Okay. Will you shut up, Quill, for a second? I'm not shut up. We're in the store. We made it. Shh. An empty store. In the middle of the city? Ah, rent's an imaginary made-up city. Must be really high. Come on, let's move to the back. Okay. Looks like they passed us by. What's our next move? Our next move? Yeah. Doom sent us in here to distract Valeria so he can get the cosmic cube from her. At least that was the plan. But now we're stuck in here. Ah, at least we got away from those weirdos. I'm glad my blasters worked on them. And your concussion arrows. That was cool. When they grabbed me, I felt, uh, I felt drained. And yeah. Weakened. Yeah. Like, like they were pulling something out of me. Kind of like... Dying. Like, like dying slowly, right? I'm just getting the feeling back in my hands. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Uh, though, I, I, I kind of hope they'd pull a couple inches off my waist. But what now? We can't stay here forever. I mean, we can find our way out, get back to the desert. You said the streets kept moving, changing, yeah. keeping us here. She wants to keep us here. Why? I mean, have you, have you looked at me? Oh, that's right, you can't see. Uh, we're likable guys. That mob, they came after us, after we fought off the wrecking crew. Well, yeah, very valiantly, I might add. We saved them, and then they tried to eat us, drain us, 
They need something from us. Yeah, but, 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 but what? What? Come on. Keep going, Hawkeye. This is good. I, it's kind of fun watching your wheels turn. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Doom said Valeria was trying to rebuild the world, but that the cube didn't have enough energy. Maybe she wants more from us. Our, uh, our memories. Without it, nothing here really works right. Uh, the wrecking crew, the people in the crowds, this empty store. She can't make it real, not without us. So we're kind of in charge. That's cool. It's bad. They need everything we have. They want to drain us. Suck you dry, Quill. We can't trust any of it. Not anything we see. You can't trust me, Clint. Oh, man. It's a Cap again. Dude. You're not Cap. You can't even see him. I know it's not him. He's not here. He's just another construct or whatever they have here. Well... Does that really matter? Yeah, it matters. Don't try to drain our souls again, man. I just want to talk to you. I really am just here to help. We don't want whatever you're peddling, whoever you are. Yeah. You really can't give me a few minutes, Clint, for old time's sake. We don't have old times. You don't even look old. Quill, quit it. Okay. No one is going to hurt you. No one's going to... Do anything to either one of you. Not if you don't ask them to. You want to understand what's going on here, I can show you. I want to show you. So, come on. Come with me. Okay, okay. Where are you going, Quill? Oh, don't you want to know what's really happening here? I do. Hey, Cap, wait up! Just this way, boys. We can cut across the park on 66th Street. Now, I know you can't see this, Hawkeye. The energy's here, though. Power it takes to make this city, keep it going, it's, well, it's a lot, we know, but if you could see it, if you could really feel it, well, you'd see what it is, and what it could be, what we could make it together. Together, huh? By draining our memories. Yeah, I gotta say, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. No, we're really just borrowing them. You know, we're remaking a world here, Clint. Doesn't that sound kind of good? Oh, of course it sounds kind of good. It always sounds good, but that doesn't make it good. This world here, it isn't real. Look, I may be blind, but I can see that much. Ah, oh, Clint. Clint. What? Clint! What? Living like this in the world you live in. It's taken more than your sight. It's taken your hope. It's taken your vision. Now, you have to look past all of this. You have to see the potential, the possibility, the future, the better world that you could both have. Yes, this isn't perfect. Yes, it needs improvement. It needs you. Both of you. All of you. All of us trapped in a dream, huh? In a dream of a life of heroes, of valor, of greatness. Don't you want to be great, Clint? Peter. You can be great here. Will the people keep being so grabby? We're just hungry to be real. Your voice sounds like Cap's. You try to talk like Cap, but you're not him. You're just some kind of a ghost, some kind of a, a phantom made up to fool us, to make us trust you, see? Of course I want you to trust me. I want your help. We all do. Look, we're there. Where? We're home. Oh, is that... What? What? What is it, Quill? <laughs> Quill! It's the Avengers Mansion! I can't believe it! <laughs> That's right. Just like it used to be. Every inch, every board, every nail, everything, just like it was. That's what you could have here if you trust me. Let's go in. Let me show you around. Hawkeye? Uh, what the hell? We gone this far. Maybe he'll lead us to Valeria. Yeah, baby. Take it in, Clint. Quill, huh? Just like you remember it. Maybe even a little better? He's not lying. It looks amazing in here. Quill, listen to me. Keep your eyes open. Just don't get sucked in by it all, all right? Okay. Ah, oh, you're still so cynical, so worried. Uh. But you don't know all the things that we can do for you. For both of you. Mm. Hey, what's that around your neck there, Quill? Oh, this? Uh, it's, uh, it's Groot. 
Well, it's all that's left. Mm. It's a seed. You want to plant somewhere? Um, you want it to grow? Yeah. Well, Need's a good place to grow. Quill, listen, you can't trust Shh. this. Don't do this. Clint. Quill. Clint. It's me. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? <laughs> Quill, give me your seed. Let me show you what we can do here. Don't do it, Quill. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. It's okay. Sh- Don't. It's okay. You're not going to hurt him. Of course I'm not going to hurt him. Will you trust me? You have to trust someone sometime, don't you? Do not hurt him. I'm going to help him. And you. And everyone. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. He's growing. He's growing. Growing? Roots growing! Cat made the seed all glowy and shiny, and now he's growing! He's growing! It takes the things that we love and it twists them. It makes them terrible. The crew wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> well, not to me. Uh, turn here. A oh, crud. Dead end. What? There's only one way out of this, Quill. We have to stop him. No, 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 He'll no, no. We're, we're not. You're not. He'll kill us. I can talk to him. He, he's in there somewhere. I, I know he is. Just... I am Groot. Hey. Hey, Groot. <laughs> it's me, Quill, your buddy. Your friend, you you know me, right? You loved me. We we been to the stars and back. We we saved the galaxy and we're I mean we're the guardians of the galaxy. And we're we're the only ones left, buddy. Just you and me. So I need you to be yourself. To to be my friend. I really need a friend in this world. You're the last one I got, and I need you, buddy. I really do. So what do you say? <laughs> Quill! Duck! No! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, what did you do? What did you do? What'd you shoot him with? He's burning up! He was going to kill us both. I didn't have a choice. You set him on fire! Stop and drop roll, buddy. Come on, stop and drop roll, buddy. There's gotta be some water around here. There's water, there's water. No, stop and drop, buddy. You can be okay. You're gonna be okay. I need some water. I need water. Groot? He's gone. He's dead. Where's... Where's the seed? He's in here somewhere. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. There's a... Where's the seed? The seed. The seed's in, it's in the ashes somewhere. I know the seed's here. It's got to be here. Where's the seed? The seed. I'm sorry. Huh? Quill, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was my seed. He's gone. Captain. I didn't have a choice. No, of course I did! You, you could have let me talk to him. I was getting through, man. You don't speak Groot. You don't know. That wasn't your friend. That wasn't your Groot. You have to know that. Look, he's all I have. He was everything I had left. Quill, you have me. We'll get ourselves out of here. We will. And go back to what? Without Groot. Without my seed. What am I waiting for, huh? Where's Cap? Cap! Cap! What can he do for you? He took my seed. He can make it come back. He can fix this. Quill... Please, you got to calm down. No! You stay away from me. You killed Groot. He was going to kill us. You killed him! I've got to get him back. Quill, he's gone. He's just... He's just gone. This is all your fault. All of it. You dragged me here. You made this happen. You burned up Groot. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to me. 
No wonder no one wants anything to do with you. You ruined everything! Quill, you don't mean that. You don't. You don't mean that. It's just this place. This place that you dragged me to! You belong here! No. Stay away from me! Quill, come here. Cap! Cap! Quill! Cap! Quill! Cap! Please, Cap. Quill! Cap, Cap, come on! Quill, Cap, come, on come on back on. here! Back, you hear me? Cap. Quill! I don't remember this many air shafts in this mansion, but I'm glad they're here. One of them has to lead to something. To what, Natasha? What's your plan here? Okay, well, Natasha, the plan is to find Logan and get the hell out of here. About Tony and Jarvis and whoever else is hiding in here. No, I, I don't know, Natasha. You know what's in front of me, and right now it's this great. So, step one, get out of this air shaft. Step two, find Logan. Step three, make it up as I go along. What's that? Who's there? Clint? I know that voice. Clint, is that... How are you? What are you doing here? It can't be. Clint, it's me. I'm here. No. Not you. Anyone else. Anyone at, at all, but not you, please. Not you. Yes, me. Clint. Don't. You're another ghost. Another lie. I saw Natasha die. The real Natasha. Whoever, whatever you are. I'll kill you! On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. Is this rudimentary recreation of my Latvian lab meant to lull me into a false sense of confidence? Or does a part of you, perhaps your buried subconscious, find solace in our shared nostalgia? That part of me is long dead. Uh, only I can end your pain. I'm not even sure who you are. Seriously? Oh my god. That explains why there's no cool young version of me floating around this joint. Spraying blasters, jamming in tunes. Ah, of course. Star-Lord. Yeah. I got tricked into coming here, too. It was Tony. But it wasn't. You talk too much. Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders, starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr., original sound design by 1,000 Birds, original music by Lindsay Jones, story by Mark Wade, written by Jay Hotham. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova, Craig Bierko as Captain America, Sharice Booth as Jean Grey, Amber Gray as Judy Stark, Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid, Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards, Nadine Malouf as Cora, Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by David Kale as Jarvis. Gina Daniels as Invisible Woman. Ramiz Monsef as Root. Gabe Ruiz as Human Torch. Tom Sesma as The Thing. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynette. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Donadio. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim. 
KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producer is Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Ramo Law PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. Can't be. Clint, it's me. I'm here. No. Clint. Don't. I saw Natasha die. The real Natasha. Whatever you are, I'll kill you. You cannot control the cosmic cube. It will destroy everything. Look around you. Look at what I have built already. People are being drawn here. Wolverine, Black Widow, Star-Lord, Hawkeye. I will drain their very souls to finish the work. Even you. I know what you really want. I know what this is all really about. But you cannot do it, even with the power of the cube. It's impossible, Valeria. Here we are, Victor. Just you and me. What comes next? You bore me to death with one of your stories? We're in the wrong place for that. Here, let me fix it. Uh, 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 is this rudimentary recreation of my Latvian lab meant to lull me into a false sense of confidence? Or does a part of you, perhaps your buried subconscious, find solace in our shared nostalgia? You wish. That part of me is long dead. And you'll be too if you keep trying my patience. Activate the molecule displacer. Manual fire discharged only on my direct command. Molecule displacer activated. We'll fire at your command, Lord Doom. Talking to yourself, Vic? You're not here to kill me, are you? You wound me with your words, Valeria, but only with your words. Well, if you're not here to kill me, are you here to beg me to stop? Dr. Doom does not grovel. He is here to save your life, despite your best efforts. Lies. You're here for the cube. So predictable. So pathetic. (sighs) But I'm never giving it up. Not until I finish what I've started. Do you even know what you've started, child? I know exactly what I've started. Um... (sighs) Do not make me do this. Oh, please. That's your play? A molecule displacer? (sighs) The nukes barely phased me. You can put away your little toy, Lord Doom. I'll have you know I take no pleasure in this. Weird, because I do. Fire sequence engaged. Last chance, Valeria. Ooh, is that a threat? Because I've been dying to test out the cube's full power. Might as well be on you. You stop right there, lady. Stop right there. Fool. What are you doing here? Shut up! Stay out of it, Doom! I got this! Uh, Valeria Richards, hmm? you took everything from me. I'm not even sure who you are. Seriously? 
Oh my god. That explains why there's no cool young version of me floating around this joint. Spraying blasters, jamming to tunes. Ah, of course. Star Lord. Yeah. 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 Check it out, Doom. She knows me. You know me. Leave us. It's just. You look older than I expected. Oh, God. Whatever. Much. What's that? Much older. I'm not that much older. I look good. Like someone left you in the sun too long and then tried to unmelt you, but it was too late. Uh, so now you just got this goopy mess. Oof. Yeah. Wow. All right, enough. You took everything from me. So before you eat Blaster, I'd appreciate it if you use your cube magic and bring it back. But as you can see, I'm a little busy. My Groot seed, I don't care. It's gone because of you. Huh. I'm going to give you to the count of five to joking? bring back my Groot He's seed. He's joking, right? One. Why five? Two. So annoying. Three. But you want your Groot. Four. I'll give you your Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. 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 Wow. I am Groot. I'm, I'm Just Groot. when I I'm thought Groot. he couldn't be I'm any Groot. more of a nuisance. I'm Groot. You have a point. Even bound and gagged, I can barely tolerate him. I'm to the dungeon, Star Lord. Where were we? Oh, right. The end of the dreadful Doctor, Doctor Doom, Doom and, and his water pistol. I'm sorry. It has come to this, Valeria. I have known you... You don't know me. Uh, Not anymore. I do know you. I see many of my own qualities in you. I always have. We stand above. We do not stop until we have achieved what we've set out to do. No matter how the rabble may flail at us. No matter what the cost... I know your pain. You feel that you no longer belong in this world. That you're utterly alone. That no one is left who can rise to your level. But these abominations you've manifested, they cannot fill the void inside you. I can end your pain, dear Valeria, for you, only you, this. I grant you the peace you have earned. Fire sequence engaged. Fire. You actually went through with it. You still had my mask armed this entire time. Uh, uh, Despite your arrogance, I'm always a step ahead uh, of you. Any act of aggression toward me and you get cooked from the inside. uh, But uh, what was this charade? Why allow me to carry on pleading with you like some peasant? To be honest, I just wanted to see if you had the guts. You... You... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, pathetic. I used to think you were strong. That you might help keep this world interesting. I was wrong. Listen to me. No. Uh, You don't tell me what to do. You're nothing to me. You said there is nobody left that can rise to my level. You were right. Certainly not you. You're merely a distraction. Not even worthy of my already meaningless existence. Valeria. Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 6. 
assembled. Clint, can we talk about this, old buddy? I'd like to avoid an arrow to the epidermis, you know. I'm not bouncing back quite like I used to. <clears throat> Glad to see you won't miss, even with your blindfold situation. And I'm sorry about that, by the way. I should have been there for you through all of it. Look, this place is one big lie, and I can prove it. Just come out and talk. You and me, Clint. <coughs> Smoke arrow, you. <coughs> I got tricked into coming here, too. It was Tony, but it wasn't. You talk too much. Then listen, because I'm done with giving up. Shut up already. <coughs> it's me. We had a life, you and me. A lot of life. I remember it all. No. Our difficult pasts. How we got each other out. Stop! How we'll never be even, no matter how many times you tell me we are, that I would die for you. I watched you die, damn it! I'm <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can explain everything, Clint. I came looking for you. After I came back, I saw what had become of you. Saw you with your family. I just couldn't show my face. Not after all those years. I, I wish you could see me now. Then you'd know I'm not lying. I grew old, Clint. Just like you. We're not like the abominations out there. Those unnatural versions of our fallen friends. You're you. The way you're supposed to look after all these years. The real widow would have found me. Not left me drowning in guilt thinking I was the last Avenger. I'm sorry, Clint. It wasn't about you, I swear. It seemed like you had a life, which is more than I could say for myself at the time. Bullshit! <sighs> Captain America's favorite, Mark's brother, is Harpo. Nick Fury's pin number is four stars. You once ripped off your fingernails to use them as projectiles. That means nothing. Nothing. The Cosmic Cube can impart that knowledge. Hold on. The Cosmic Cube? That's what's causing this? Enough! No, don't! <laughs> Do it. Slit my throat. Get it over with. I'm warning you. I'll kill you the next chance I get. I can't. Do what you must. I'm at peace with you more than anyone. You idiot. <laughs> it's really you. Only you would hesitate to drop an old friend trying to kill you. You blinked first. You switched to smoke. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we're both idiots. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> um. <laughs> the famous Black Widow. Or is it Grey Widow? God, I wish I could see it. I never heard that one before. <laughs> Just how? Uh, all of it. How? It's a long, long story. None of which matters anymore. We're here. Like old times. Just older. And blinder. And out of shape. You heard me wheezing during that last tussle. <laughs> well, 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 why do you think I wanted you to stop all the yapping? <laughs> I was so gassed I could barely speak. <laughs> <laughs> Something big's going on here, huh? Really big, Nat, yeah. Bigger than us, for sure. Could affect everyone on the outside. But that's the thing. We're inside. Why? Why bring us here? Not sure, but the quicker we figure that out... The quicker we find the cube. There's no time to waste. 
Let's move. Uh, we should have a catchphrase. If something like this happens again. Catchphrase? You mean like code word? Yeah. A code word. Uh, the goose has flown or something. So you're saying if an army of doppelgangers are trying to kill you and one of the many Natasha says the goose has flown, you would stand down? Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're always right. Absolutely certain this is the place? Ninety-four percent, Miss Stark. Which these days is as absolutely certain as it gets. To clarify, these were the closest coordinates to which we could track Romanov? Correct. Well, certainly didn't dress for the weather. I don't remember California being so bleak. Shall I fetch the new outfit you've been working on? Mm, not yet. Hmm. Huh. This weapon looks like aim tech. And by the looks of that fallen military installation, it would appear aim has already been sniffing around these parts. Odds of that being a coincidence? Hmm. Stronger than you think. Given the blast, 42%. <laughs> Give or take a percentage point. That's less than ideal. Super adaptoid is many things. You might say an infinite amount, but never late to a party. This force field, it's the cubes doing? Indeed. Given its geography, odds are the cube's cosmic energy is casting a protective bubble of sorts. Now, whether it's to keep us out or to keep something in, those are numbers I'd be very interested in. <sighs> Can we get through it or not? I like our odds. I suggest starting with the proton cannon. Great. Approved. <gasps> Miss Stark, we have a ship inbound. It's an AIM aircraft, Omega model, which means there's a 75% chance that... He's coming. If Super Adaptoid himself is making an appearance, it's all but certain he knows the cube is here. The outfit, please! Here goes nothing. There is a 100% chance that was extraordinary. Glad you approve, Julius. In the suit. Do I call you Iron Man? Iron Woman? Oh. Iron Person. Get to work on that force field. I'll be ready for Adaptoid. On three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Clear. Wait. Wait, wait, haven't we been through this room already? Are, are we going in circles? I wish I could help you there. They all sound the same to me. Chandelier, creepy painting of an old man, giant ornate bookcase. I swear, it's the same room. This is another maze. Some kind of a puzzle? Cube must be playing tricks. It doesn't want us to find... Intruders. <gasps> uh, what, what the hell was that? More like who? I sense heat. Something's coming. Blazes! Burning through the night! There's a fireball, Clint. There's something else that's growing, shifting, it's becoming a person shaped like. Flame on! Not a moment to spare. The human torch blazes to the rescue. That voice! Is it in my head? No, I hear it too. Look out! Two bit, no good intruders are no match for Johnny Storm as he single handedly defends Avengers Mansion. Here, take my hand. Where is he? He's coming. You got any arrows to slow him down? Draw him in. Trapping the intruders in circular flames of glory, the human torch goes in for the kill. What would you wish for? Get, get behind me! The intruders were going to primitive methods, failing spectacularly. I really hate that guy. He's getting closer. Aim higher. Damn it! I'm sorry. Faster and faster, the spiraling circle of flames close in on our intruders. Yeah. 
Oh no! A new Harrier intruder crashes through the ceiling, taking Johnny to the ground using his razor sharp claws. He... What the hell was that? Not another one. Oh boy. I know that sound. Logan, he's real. Like Tony? Not falling for it. Huh? Don't make things worse, Clint. What am I supposed to do? He's not listening. Oh, uh, 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 the goose has flown. The, <coughs> the goose has flown. Huh? Oh, it worked. Someone better start talking. It's Clint. Actual Hawkeye Clint. The cube drew him here, just like us. I mean, look at him. What happened to your eyes? Cataracts. Is that some new villain? <laughs> In a way. Now that you mention it, you don't smell like them. Sorry I almost killed you. It's been a while, I... Sacramento? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry about that, too. All good. It was a strange time. Okay, fellas, come on. No time for memory lane. Right, right. So, <clears throat> we found Wolverine. Now we just gotta find the moron. Star-Lord still alive? <laughs> exactly. I came here with him, but we got separated. Where was the last place you saw him? Oh, sorry. Uh, where was the last place you two were together? Shh. You heard that? I smell something. Is... Is that fear and old cologne? There. This door. Uh-huh. Well, open it up. You do it. I can't even see it. I'll do it. Uh, here, help, help me untie him. Uh, are you okay? Where have you been? What have you seen? Well? I... I'm Groot. What? What are you talking about? Is this just another one of your dumb jokes? Look, if if you're mad we couldn't save the Groot seed, I'm... I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. <sighs> Say that one more time. I am Groot. I am Groot. Oh, I get it. You do? He engaged Valeria, and she put a spell on him using the cube. All he can say is, I am Groot! I am Groot? Yeah, I speak a lot of languages. You'd be surprised what you can deduce from tone and inflection. Okay, so, we're all here. We've all been assembled. I am Groot! Uh, please, Quill, not now. <clears throat> We've all been assembled here. But why? What do we have in common? We're still alive, for better or worse. Right, but what does she need us for? If it was to kill us off, then she'd have killed us the second we got here. Look, obviously I can't see it. But, well, is it safe to say this place looks as weird as it sounds? In what way? All old-timey, of a different era. Yeah. I've seen a lot of airs, but this one's old. Well, maybe she misses the good old days. The good old days? I don't remember them being so good. Yeah, but then again, you always have been a glass half-empty guy. Well, why would anyone settle for a half-empty glass? My point exactly. Clint, focus. What is it about us, specifically us, in this place, that Valeria needs? I don't know. Maybe she wants to feel younger. Feel better about herself. But the people here in the cars? I doubt she was even born during this era. Hmm. Could that be it? I am Groot. By the time V-Day hit, Valeria was still pretty young. She lost a lot. Maybe she's trying to go back to before the day the villains won. I am Groot. I mean, come on, with everything we all lost, the thought would never cross your mind to use the cube to go back, to bring people back? 
Oh, trust me, as someone who's had to relive that day over and over again, it's best to leave it in the past. What's done is done, Nat. You can't undo it. But what if you could? What if she could? Or this is all just some game of theater. She didn't bring us here to save our friends. She brought us here to fight them. Over and over and over again. Forcing us to relive that day again and again. <sighs> Let's be honest. With what I've done, it's the life I deserve. No, no, there's got to be more. Does there? Or do you just want there to be more? Take it easy, Logan. No, it's okay. He's right. I do want there to be more. Because if there's not... Let's take a step back. Hmm? Now, regardless of what she's trying to do, we need to get this, this fractured cube away from her before more people get hurt. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. And it's not just Valeria. More people will come for the cube. Judy Stark, Super Adaptoid, anyone trying to fill the power vacuum left by Red Skull. Then we get it somewhere safe or destroy it. I'm Groot! I'm Groot! Not now, Quill. I'm Groot! I'm Groot! Wait a second. That noise. What did you just open? Maybe even a thousand. I am Groot. What is it? What? what? What do you see? So many civilians. Rows and rows of unconscious men and women. Some military. And aim technicians, too. They're all being held by some sort of energy. It's got everyone in a trance. They're speaking, but it's, it's hard to make sense of it. Listen. Came to investigate the blast. I found Man was Dad's more. favorite. Captain America caught the spire of the Empire State. I was there always when I was eight. It was over. Is Kate in there? Kate! Kate! Ah! Damn it! Ah! What is that? There, it's, it's coming from the center of the room. Something so bright it's hard to look at it. It's about six inches square. Oh, shield your eyes! Oh. And no, Valeria? She must be able to control it at a distance now. It seems to be acting on its own. Welcome, heroes. I've been expecting you. I am Groot. On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. Do not be alarmed. This is exactly where you are supposed to be. Peter Quill, Natasha Romanoff, Clint Barton, James Howland. Who's James Howland? A name I haven't heard in a long, long time. Hello? Am I dead? Is this the afterlife? You gotta be honest. I expect it to be a lot cooler. Maybe Logan was right. This is some sick punishment forcing us to live our biggest regrets over and over. <gasps> wow, look who finally showed up. Helena. What the hell is this? Come on, Black Widow. You know what this is. Logan! Thank God you're here. Jeannie? Yes, Logan. It's so great you're back. You've been gone far too long. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Nick Bernadone. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. 
Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Maloof as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Gabe Ruiz as Human Torch. Deanna Myers as AI Interface. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynette. Produced by Jenny Radlett Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producer is Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Law PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. Oh my God. How many are there? Hundreds. Maybe even a thousand. I am Groot. Well, what is it? Rows and rows of unconscious men and women. They're all being held by some sort of energy. It's got everyone in a trance. They're speaking, but it's, it's hard to make sense of it. Is Kate in there? Kate! Kate! Ah, Damn it! Ah, what is that? There, it's, it's coming from the center of the room. Something so bright, it's hard to look at it. It's about six inches square. Oh, shield your eyes. Oh. oh. My God. It's the cosmic cube. Welcome, heroes. I've been expecting you. I am Groot. You could say that again. Don't say that again. Guess we know where the annoying narrator has been coming from. Do we talk to it? Can it hear us? Can you hear us, Cube? I hear you now. I heard you then. I hear all. Well, this couldn't get any creepier. I am Groot. Do not be alarmed. This is exactly where you are supposed to be. Peter Quill, Natasha Romanoff, Clint Barton. James Howland. I was wrong. It got creepier. Who's James Howland? A name I haven't heard in a long, long time. So, what's the move? Do we hear what the cube has to say? I've heard enough. I say we destroy it while we still can. Destroy it? How? This is cosmic level stuff. I am Groot! Quill, not helping. We can destroy it. Look at it. Wish I could, James Howland. Right. How to describe. It looks fractured, like one good blow could finish the job. Maybe that's why it brought us here. It needs something from us. Oh, you want to nurse it back to health, Widow? Chicken soup and warm hugs? Come on! Now you even want to save a damn cube? And what about all these prisoners? What if we need the cube to undo what's happening to them? The safest play is to extract it. I am Groove. Not now, Quill. We need to act fast and smart. Even if we could get it out, Valeria will just show up and take it back. Let me end it. 
Right here, right now. You gonna claw it to death, big cat? Cause I left my intergalactic arrows at home. I am Groot. Well, somebody shut him up already. I am Groot. Clock's ticking. Maybe Logan's right, Ned. You say the cube's fractured? Hmm. Odds are, if we destroy it, all these prisoners will be set free. Okay. Then we destroy it. Whatever we do, we need to do it now. Are we all in agreement? Yes! Fine by me. You good, Quill? Where's Quill? I am Groot! I am Groot! By the cube, he's... <gasps> he's going for the cube. Quill, don't! I am Groot! I, 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 I am Groot! I am doing this! Whoa! I, I can talk again. The cube fixed me, see? See? See what? We don't know what that thing wants from us. We could end up like all these prisoners. Well, isn't that isn't that why we came here in the first place? This is exactly what I've been talking about, Hawkeye. What do you mean? No, your hero stuff. This is like this is the definition of hero stuff. You're gonna get yourself killed. No, I got this, man. Don't you hear it? The cube, it's calling me. It's playing tricks. No, it's inviting me to take it. It it needs me. I, I knew I was brought here for a reason. This is it. Just step away from there so we can all talk it out. Okay, pal? Well, I just, no, 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 I've come too far. I, I, I turned down something like this once before. If I hadn't, we probably wouldn't be in this mess. Then my friend, he'd probably still be alive. You don't know that. I'm not making that mistake again. Not with everyone counting on me. I'm going for the cube. Quill, no! No, go for it! Here I go! Man. Oh! Ah! oh. <laughs> what, what, what's happening to him? All that power, it's frying him. Step aside. Oh, I get handled. Oh, that doesn't sound like he handled it. Talk to me, what do you see, Nat? I don't know, it, it looks like cosmic power coursing through their bodies. Maybe if we join them, together, we, we can handle it, control it somehow. Then let's not waste any more time. So we just grab on for dear life? I got no better idea. On three. Three, damn it. Oh. Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 7, Fractured. Hello? Am I dead? Is this the afterlife? Gotta be honest, I expect it to be a lot cooler. Dazzler concert with never-ending encores and my mom and... Oh! There's a switch. Oh! Ho oh, ho! Oh, my ship! I'm in the Milano. That's all right now, yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Ooh, which means got some tunes. Yeah. Hello, oh. Star Lord. Cora? Uh, no, no disrespect, but I did not expect to see you in my happy place. So, uh, where where are where are we? To oversimplify, we are in your mind. Via the Cosmic Cube. Hey, do me a favor, would ya? Undersimplify. In trained hands, the cube is powerful and can be wielded with intent. Uh -huh. In untrained hands, uh -huh. it taps into the subconscious, searching for hidden desires. A part of you must have wanted me here. Perhaps our history seems unfinished to you. Yeah, I, I can't be right. With all my adventures, all the people I've bumped tummies with, where are all the fallen superheroes? You do not have unfinished business with any of them. They died nobly. You have accepted their deaths. You've just yet to accept the fact that you've accepted it. Wow, that's deep, Cora. You my therapist? You hide your pain behind humor well, and superficial desires. But that will soon change, when you realize just how much you've yet to accept. Is it not obvious why the cube conjured me? Oh, yeah, definitely. But why don't you say it? Just to be sure we're on the same page. I abandoned you because you were no longer important enough to follow. That is not my page. And definitely not how I remember it. 
No way. No way. I merely used you as a vehicle to get to someone no. greater. What? Greater? Lord Doom. Got it out! Is greater the right word? Really? That's what your mind sees as unfinished. Uh-huh. Your ego. Your need ego. to prove your value. Oh, okay. Well, cool, cool, cool. Hey, nice talking to you. Uh, enjoy the afterlife, okay, Cora? I'm just gonna... Oh, switch! Oh, man, yeah, this room! Awesome! Oh, yeah, baby! Now this is my happy place. There's nothing unfinished in this room right here. Uh-uh. Not a chance. Except for maybe some beers. I wonder if I still have any here. Stop! No! God! Why, you were, weren't you in there? There is no escaping this. I'm part of you. You can't leave me. Oh, really? You mean like you left me? So it appears it did bother you. No, it didn't bother me. Maybe a little. By the way, Doom, he's not greater. He's greater at sucking, maybe, but he's not greater. He's not a superhero or anything. Super villain. Super villains are never better or greater than superheroes, right? right? Does it Am even right? matter who it was? Or is it simply hurtful that there was something or someone I deemed more important to follow? Oh, beer here! Found him! You! Party time! Party time! That's what this whole adventure has been about, hasn't it? Your need to be important? Your desire to be seen as the hero? Look, you're wrong about me. I was important enough to follow. I am a superhero. I, and I always will be a superhero. You're avoiding the issue at I'm hand, not avoiding Star-Lord. anything. You know what? You, hear, you want to talk about avoiding? You want to talk about avoiding? You're avoiding the good vibes I'm trying to lay down here, okay? Uh, this is, I'm, I'm back in my happy place. Can, do you want a beer or something? Can I get you a beer? Do you drink? Outside this subconscious space, your corporeal form is still holding the cosmic cube. Aren't you the least bit curious about the power you wield? Is that not why you so adamantly took hold of it? Yeah, I guess I'm thinking. Maybe. Are you thinking or drinking? I happen to do some of my best thinking while drinking. Thank you. Star-Lord. What? If you could revisit your past and in a sense, Live a different future. What would you change? Look, I'm not meddling in the past, okay? I'm, 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 I'm happy here in the present. I don't want to go to the past. All your friends are dead. That's not true. You failed That's not to true. protect them. Oh, Hawkeye's Even alive. your Groot seed is now gone. That's enough! Assessing memory C1451Z2N. No, 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 Guard, please don't. Location. Please. The Chamberlain Please, Reactor. No, 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 Context. No, no, no. A weak no, no, no. and dying rocket stands no, no, guard while no, no, Star Lord no, no, hunts for the this. Black Vortex. Don't do it! Powers don't make you a hero. Or a villain. Any more than a cape or a stupid code name does. You gotta make your own greatness. <laughs> no, you know what you're doing, Cora. Please don't. Please stop. You, stop. Live, you gotta stop. You breathe, no. stupid rocket. optimism. Rocket, it's I'm taken sorry. us this far. I'm sorry, Rocket. It'll take you the rest of the way. Don't turn it off! No, turn it off! Me. You're gonna save the fucking world, <laughs> Star Lord. Listen now! Look, I am gonna save the fucking world, but not just to serve my ego or to get your approval or be great enough to follow whatever, Cora. I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. I'm not. I'm gonna use the cube for good. You'll see. Perhaps. But it's that very notion that has put your friends in danger, has it not? What's that supposed to mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. Ironic. <sighs> that now, only you can save them. Where am I? What's that beeping? <sighs> of course. Elena's deathbed. Maybe Logan was right. This is some sick punishment forcing us to live our biggest regrets over and over. Oh, look who finally showed up. Elena, what the hell is this? Oh, come on, Black Widow. You know what this is. The conversation we never had. Bingo. 
Our only problem is this isn't real. You're not real. You're just like Iron Man and the things out there. Oh, no, this is different. It's as real as you allow it to be. Well, that's a little sphinx-like for the Yelena I knew. Then let me be frank. The cube's giving you an opportunity, Tosh. A glimpse of its power in your hands. A bridge between your mind and an alternate reality. One where maybe things went differently between us. So you let me get a few things off my chest. Big whoop. What's the cost of this closure? What happens out there, in the real world? There's got to be more. Oh, trust me, there's so much more. Come with me. Ah. You coming or not? It, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> Suit yourself. Yelena, wait. Yelena. Yelena! Bourbon Street? Elena, where did you... Nightcap? Put that away. You know we've both been no served. Plus, we should really make sure Arna went to bed. He's oh, been... he sure has. Wait a second. What, what just happened there? Why did it's I... It's us, Tosh. Just be us. Oh, I will say, it's impressive. I've seen a, a lot of stuff in my day, but it's like... We're really here. And we could stay here forever. You and me. You know, talking, exploring the old days, the what-ifs. This, this is what the cube can do for you. For us. This is that night, isn't it? The night you drank those sailors under the table. <laughs> and scared them right back into the gulf. Well, not that you were any help. Well, I don't play cake guys who try to get me to arm wrestle with them. You would have creamed them. They don't deserve the humility lesson. Let them keep strutting. I got him. You're fast for an old bitch. Tasha, stop. This is it, isn't it? This is the night I went too far. It is. Things were never the same after this. You were never the same. You wanted to leave. To start being better. Oh, it's my fault. Everything that happened with us, it's all my fault. But it doesn't have to be. This choice may have sent us down the paths that we ended up on, but that could all be for somebody else. It doesn't have to be for us. What do you mean? Use the cube. Use it in the best way imaginable. You want to make things right, don't you? How? Walk away. And start living the life that could have been. You and me, Tosh, like we always were. Let's do the right thing. Stay with me and live that life. I need you. It doesn't have to be. We can stay here, you and me. We I am going to save the working world. You'll see. You're all dead, Finder. I can fix this. <sighs> now that the cube is keeping you all busy, rattling around inside your own heads, it's time to finish what I've started. Anybody down here? Widow? Hawkeye? Quill! Is this tunnel ever gonna end? Hello? Where's that coming from? Who's there? Answer me, damn it! God, you're here. Jeannie? Yes, Logan. Come out of there. 
It's so great you're back. You've been gone far too long. I've had this terrible feeling in my no, gut. No, 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 stop. This is the cube again. You're not Gene. This ain't the same. Is this not what you secretly desired ever since that day? To see her again more than anything. Then why not play along? Because it's not real. But what if it were? What would you say to the real Jean Grey had she lived to be here? What would I say to Jean? Yes. That I feel lost and alone. Is, is that what you want to hear? This is stupid. Flatter me. As if I were her. I tell her most days... I just want to up and leave. Go live in the mountains and not bother anybody. Or just die already. It's not always that simple, Logan. I'd say I know I'm to blame for everything. But... None of that matters, because she'll never hear this. It's... It's because of what I did. Go on. I'd tell her... Not a single day goes by that I don't think about her. That I have no idea what the hell I'm doing without her. I came across this kid here at the Institute. I guess you could call her a student. Her name's Sophia, but I call her Wolf Kid. Jean wanted me to be a teacher. Now I'm down to just one kid. One student can be a hell of a start. I should know, after all. <laughs> yeah, you were. I mean, Jean was. She was the best of us. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? What do you want from me? No. No, no. No, don't, don't die on me. I'm so sorry for what I did here to you, to everybody. It all happened so fast. I forgive you, Logan. What happened wasn't your fault. It was. I was, I was supposed to leave this world better than I found it, not worse. Not like it is now. Maybe it's not too late. I'll do anything. Let me give my life to bring you all back. It doesn't work like that. Tell me what to do. Uh, the tool to shape a new future is right in front of you. What? The cube? Oh, I just stop! Embrace them, Logan. What do you mean, embrace them? You are the light. What? You are the light. This is all part of your journey. Sometimes, in order to shape the future, one must start with the past. Ladies and gentlemen! Huh? I can see. I can see. This is New York. And it ain't pretty. Help! Oh. You've got to do something! Oh, oh no, 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 no! Not this. Not the day. Let us go back. Back in our memories to the way the world was before. Ah, oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, what the. Independence, individualism, the United States of America. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Was no, not no, 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 make it stop, make it As stop, As people try please. to just live their <laughs> lives, to scratch out a living, <laughs> they were being hunted, <laughs> hunted by superheroes. Who the hell are you? Didn't you hear? Your days of running crap are over. What days? Drop the bow, maggot. Don't you hear that? Shut up! Get on the ground! But this isn't right. This isn't 
how it happened. I said, get on the ground. On your knees. It's time to take your medicine. Oh. <laughs> you ready to die, hero? Yes. Just kill me. Kill me and get it over with. Uh, just make it stop. I can't take this anymore. What do you say we get up and do something about it, old pal? Cap? You're in control here. Let's make this right. Can it! Great shot, Hawkeye! Over here! Take that! I knew you still had it in you! Man, that <laughs> felt good! <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, why does this all feel different? Different how? Well, for starters, I can see you. Like, actually see you. Back out there, in the real world, it wasn't you. Not like this, but here. You're the Captain America I remember. You carry us wherever you go, pal. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The world has gone to hell. We could sit here and talk until we're blue in the face, but the fact is, I did lose. We all did. I just found out one of the people I've missed most of all is still alive. And yet, here I am risking my life again. For what? Look, you may not be the Avengers of old, but the four of you coming together could mean something to a lot of people. Nat's important to me. And finding Kate. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm still breathing. Which is why I know you won't pass up the opportunity to go back and make up for lost time. How do you figure? Together we can fix it all. Make it so none of this ever happened. Just like we did here, you and me. We just need to focus on all the times we shared together. Now can you do that for me, old buddy? Do that for me, old buddy. No. Sorry, but I can't. I have to go back. They need me out there. Are you sure about this? You won't get another shot if you walk away. Yep. I'm sure. As bad as it's been, who am I to change the past? If I go messing with time... Maybe Kate never has Ash. Then Bobby and I never take her in. And I don't have my family. <laughs> Sorry, old friend. It's time for me to go. Don't you see it, Logan? How you can fix everything. Take it. Use it. Bring us all back. No! No! Enough! I can't! I'm sorry, Jeannie, but I can't. As much as I miss her, as much as I miss all of them, this ain't real. Going back to that day wouldn't change a thing. It might have been my fault, but it sure as hell wasn't my choice. After this long life, all that matters is the choice I make next. Logan, you with me? Yeah. Hey, Cora. Cube, scramble your brains too. Uh, we snapped out of it, you and me. Nat and Quill, not so much. Thanks, man. They don't look so good. It's my fault. Every day. The Cube. I think it's pulling their minds in deeper. How do we pull them out? Widow, can you hear me? 
Widow! What do you say, Tosh? You and me, we can start living the life that could have been. Yes. I'd like that. Widow! Oh! Listen to my voice! Clint? That's just noise. All that matters now is this. It's just... Snap out of it, Nat. Nat! Snap out of it, Nat! We need you. I need you. I'm not supposed to be here. I, I'm supposed to be out there helping my friends in the real world. This, this isn't real. You're not real, but they are, and they need me. You can't leave. It's too late. Elena, stop. What, what are you doing? It's not me. Then who's doing this? Valeria? Answer me, damn it. It's you. It's all been you. Nat, snap out of it. Listen to my voice. No, no. We need you. We're going to stop this. I'm going to stop this. There's nothing to stop. It'll be just like you want it. Our very own world for all of eternity. Nat. Nat. She's not responding. Something's wrong. How does she look? She's fading. It's like the cube's draining her, sucking the life out. And her eyes, they're open, but she ain't there. And Quill? Same. They must have given in. They're lost to the Cosmic Cube. Not if we do something about it. For the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. Yeah, uh, we may want to hold off on the celebration just yet. Can you be a little less vague? I think we may have bigger fish to fry. Quill! Mm -hmm. Come here. Come on. Look outside. What the hell is that? That is the cosmic force field going down. Which, sure, means we're free to leave, but also means... They're free to enter. Stark aircrafts. AIM ones, too. They're coming from all directions. They're here for the cube. And right about now, there's enough of it to go around. Yeah, look, if the cube could trance someone as unflappable as me, imagine what it'll do to these jokesters. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Nick Bernadone. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Cherise Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Grey as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Malouf as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jade Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as Narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Shane Kenyon as Thug, Liz Sharp as Civilian, Joe Morton as Ringmaster, Chris Elliott as Rocket. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Donadio. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers, Alex Berner-Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Fringling and Kira McKnight. 
Original score composed by Lindsey Jones. Additional music composed by Jerome Ellis and James Harrison Monaco. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Law, PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a SAG after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. I'm going to use the cube for good. You'll see. Perhaps. But it's that very notion that has put your friends in danger, has it not? What's this supposed to mean? I don't know what that means. Ironic. <laughs> But now, only you can save them. You can't leave. It's too late. Yelena, stop. Wait, what are you doing? It's not me. Then who's doing this? Answer me, damn it. It's you. It's all been you. Jack, snap out of it. Listen to my voice. No, no. We need you. We're going to stop this. I'm going to stop this. Nat. Nat. She's not responding. Something's wrong. How does she look? She's fading. It's like the cube's draining her, sucking the life out. And Quill? Same. They must have given in. They're lost to the cosmic cube. Not if we do something about it. Sounded like a voice coming from inside the cosmic cube. It's starting to act up. Sparking along the fracture lines. How does Natasha look? Completely non-responsive. As if nobody's home. Yeah. And pale, Clint. Really pale, like the life's been sucked out of her. She's starting to look like all these prisoners. We have to do something. Now give me a hand. See if we can pull her off. Pull her off? Yeah, like physically pull her away from the cube. Come on, it's worth a shot. It's got her good. Is Quill like this too? Quick. Help me try him. Come on. Ah! Ah! Quit it! Quit it! Let me be! I think it's working. Pull harder, pull harder. Come on, come on. Quill, Quill, fight it, man. Fight it. Ah, get up! Get off me! Quill, Get off me. you gotta work with us. No, you have to work with me. I see so clearly in here. Whoever you're talking to in there, whatever they're promising, it's not real. They're using you. No, you're just jealous that I might actually be the hero for once. Oh, please. Listen to me, buddy. No, I'm not your buddy. You made that perfectly clear. Clint. The cube's getting all dark and cloudy over here. Hey, hey, what happened to the guy I came here with, Quill? Full of life and cracking jokes? This world! It's all wrong! There's, there's nothing to live for! What? That's not true. I lost everything! Everyone! All I had left was that group scene. And now that's gone too. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. 
Stop! Enough talk! The cube's looking for a new master, and it chose me. I'm doing what you all couldn't. I'm going back to do it all over again, to fix our mistakes. What mistakes? All of them! Damn it, she was right. What? what? Who? Widow. She tried to get me to see it. Back when I was blind with rage at Stark Tower. But I was too thick-skulled to see it. Get you to see what? All the collateral damage. As long as the mission's complete and we come out alive, we don't care who gets hurt. If Quill does what he's about to... It could affect a lot of lives. Make it so people never existed. We gotta stop it. Come on. Give it everything you got. Okay, let's go. Them present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 8 Shattered. Greatest hits? It's not your fault, man. Maybe Just keep an ear open to it. Red skull. I get it. You all been too quiet. They've all been too quiet. Let me know if you're in the chat. Enough! Whatever you're trying to prove, I get it. I get it. I lived it. We need to be Just prepared. Get away. I said enough! What do we have here? Quill? Widow? You chose to stay? I didn't choose this. We have to work together. Find a way out. Shame. So these are your memories. Wait, what do you mean, shame? You lived a pretty uneventful life, all things considered. How do we change the channel? Logan? I'm gonna make your face so unrecognizable your mother won't even know. I forgive you. I don't want you to forgive me. Logan. This is what happened to you? How awful. No wonder you've been so <laughs> What's wrong, Captain? I'm not going to get up and fight. You'll never get away with this. They'll come for you. Don't get upset. It'll all be over soon. Why the hell are you watching this? I need to concentrate. Are you an actual MD? Or is it one of those online degrees for show? Silence, imbecile! Doom. Of course he was there. I knew it. It's really been Mr. Doom this whole time. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Your days of flagrantly abusing your power are over, Stark. You lost. You all lost. I don't lose. I am. Dead. This can't be happening. Where is everyone? Clint. Don't do this to me. I don't need to we see. We have to go back. We have to warn the others. Make it stop. Make it stop. It's not too late to save them. I'm gonna go back and fix it. None of this should have happened. So I'm gonna make sure it never did. Don't you realize what you're doing? Our lives aren't the only ones at stake. Quill, stop. Please. Your mother won't even know that. The cube chose me, Widow. I'm the one who can make this right. Come on, there's got to be something here that can help us. 
Anything useful over there, Logan? No, it's just a bunch of dopes gushing over superheroes. I saw the X-Men once. The room was way shorter than I thought. Some jerks, too. Well, keep looking. I'll let you know if the cube backs up. I would have been toast if they didn't show up. That day changed my life. Out of all the Avengers, Hawkeye was my favorite. Clint Barton, that is. What struck me about Clint was how normal he was. He was just a normal guy with no powers. Just skill. That gave me hope. Made me realize I could be a hero, too. Clint! Is this one of yours? Who? Woman in a purple outfit. Bow and arrow. Is this who you came here looking for? Kate! Is it you? Don't tell him, but Clint was my role model. Made me who I am today. Kate! It's me! Wake up! Wake up! She's like the rest, just like Widow and Quill. Well, what do you see? Can we break her out? Did you find anything? <laughs> Cube! Please. Clint, you hear that? It's that voice again, coming from the cube. Please. That's Natasha. She must be fighting back. If she can beat it, maybe Kate can too. Oh Boys, it's escaping through the cracks. Keep talking. Natasha, it's Clint. Focus on the sound of my voice. Tasha, focus. Tasha! Tasha, focus! Focus, my boy. Clint, is that you? Yes! Yeah! You can hear me? Sort of, keep talking. Well, this is gonna sound strange because uh, you're, you're, you're out here. I mean, your body, at least, is out here, but I'm talking your voice in there. Your voice or your, your essence. I don't know, I'm talking to you through a busted up cube from outer space. Yeah, it sounds as insane as it feels. Okay, so what do you see? How can we get you out of there? It's not me you've got to worry about, it's Quill. All those prisoners, who knows what'll happen to them if he goes through with this. That's it. I'm destroying the cube. What, destroy it? No, no. We we don't know what that'll do. Who who that would hurt? I mean, all these people. Kate, what if destroying the cube takes them out with it? You got any better ideas? I, I didn't think so. Look, wait, wait. Just give me five minutes. I have history with Quill. Recent history, but maybe I can get through to him, huh? Huh? Five minutes. Or I'm taking matters into my own hands. Understood. Guys, running out of time here. You'll never get away with this. You lost. You all lost. No. 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 Well, listen to me. Just shut up already, okay? You're blowing my concentration. There's something you need to hear. Oh, it's too late. You once said there's no place for heroes in this world anymore. You were right, which is why I'm going back to a time when there was. No, no, no. Quill, I was wrong. About coming here, about you and me, I owe you an apology. No, 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 it's not time for that. Look, I'm sorry for underestimating you. You just want the world to be a better place, like it was before. But why do you think I'm here? You don't need to do all this to be a hero. You already are. You're a freaking star, Lord, man. Trust me, I get the grief of still being alive, of being alone in this world, I get it. But then you showed up, stuck with me when practically no one else would. Well, you said you needed help, that's what heroes do. You're a hell of a hero, Quill, but you're also my friend. What kind of hero am I if I can't even protect a Groot seed? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if everything here is an illusion, right? then what happened with your group seed was to... What? You think? Uh-huh. Which means... Oh! No way! Your group seed. Oh, oh. It's here. <laughs> it was here all along. How did I do that? You have group! I have group, buddy! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I won't. 
wasn't a friend to you when it mattered. A promise to do better going forward. Oh, thanks, Hawkeye. Oh, that means so much. Is Wolverine there? Can you get him to say all that too? Oh, push it, Bob. Come on, big guy, you can say it. We're all friends here. Yeah, whatever. We're all friends. Yeah! One big happy family. Here we are! Just quit trying to ruin the world already. But while we're sharing... Widow, you still in there? Yeah, she's, uh... Here, Logan. This ain't easy for me to say, but... You don't have to say anything. I saw that day. What? What happened to you was horrible, Logan. What happened to them was horrible. I lost control. The monster I worked so hard to keep inside all those years finally came out and killed the people I loved the most. I'm sorry, Logan. That wasn't you. Still, I was afraid to be me for a long time after that. Until you dragged me here, Widow. Reminded me how to be me again. So I owe you. Now let's get you out of there. Get back to what we all do best. You go, I go. That's what you said back at Stark Tower. You wouldn't let me come here alone. It's me that owes you. You see, Quill, you're not alone. None of us are. We can be alone together. <gasps> I think it's working. The dark energy. It's leaving the cube. You guys are so right. Us four heroes coming together after all these years. Saving the day, sure, but this right here. All this raw emotion, sharing feelings, self-discovery, family. Oh! Oh! Okay, spoke too soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going what on? Is that? What do you see? Um, the sky's closing in on us. The cube's acting up out here, too. I think our stay is about to go damp. Oh, uh, to burn. Which could mean the same fate for all the cube prisoners. There's got to be a way out. How did you get here, Quill? Yeah, uh, you know, if I'm being honest, I don't remember. I think the cube man had the wheel for a bit. And we still have this connection. Focus on it. Maybe that's the way. Yeah, there goes the connection. Clint. Logan. Damn it, we lost him. Sounds like our window is closing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I do. Stand back. What? what are you doing? No, no. You could get yourself killed. I'm gonna do what I should have done when we got here. Destroy this thing once and for all. This isn't on you, Logan. Yeah, it is. It's gotta be me. Trading one life for another can't be the answer. You heard her. It's not just one. It's all these people. It's Kate's life, too. Step aside. I don't want to hurt you. Just let me do this. You'll die, man. Let me die. If anyone's risking their life, it should be me. But what happened to you go, I go? I'm an old man, Clint. And I've lived dozens of lives. There's nothing more I need to see. Oh, you take it from a guy who can't see. There's always, always more than you think. We're all proof of that. Look, the adamantium in my body has been poisoning me for a while. Who knows how long I have left? What? Well, why didn't you say? Look at me, buddy. I've had a hell of a run. Done some good, done some bad. Let this be some of the good, okay? Okay. Do some good, Logan. I'll see you when the dust settles. Anyone with me? Please. Please, somebody answer. <coughs> Over here. Nat! Nat! You're alive. Thanks to you. No. 
Thanks to Logan. Natasha, I'm not sure he made it. Uh, guys, check out old man Logan. Is he alive? Logan, wake up. Logan? Logan, can you hear us? Uh, he's he's probably just healing or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Gonna spring up any second now, right, big guy? Come on! Yo, yo, come on! Come on, Wolfie! Let's go! <sighs> he's not breathing. We have to do something. Don't just stand there. H help me get him up. Where would we bring him? No. I'm the reason he's here. I can't be the reason he dies. I'll use the cube. I'll use whatever's Matt, left to bring him back. Matt, you know we can't do that. No, this can't happen. He's functionally immortal, isn't he? There must be a way. I'm sorry. He's gone. It should have been me. Nat, I know you don't want to hear it. Then don't say it. Look, Valeria will come for us. The cube is shattered, but she'll come for what's left. We gotta go. Then go. But I'm not leaving him. Not until I figure this out. Not until he heals or... Uh-uh. Logan knew the risk. He did it anyway. He did it for us and for all these people. If we don't move... His sacrifice will be for nothing. He could easily have given up on me back in New York. He followed me into that portal despite every voice in his head screaming no. It's not your fault he's dead, Nat. And I can't let you stay back and die along with him. I can't do that. We need to get out of here. We need to get all these people out of here. It worked. They're all free. You see? This is why Logan did what he did. He saved all these people, Kate included. We honor him by saving them. Yeah, uh, we may want to hold off on the celebration just yet. Can you be a little less vague? I think we may have bigger fish to fry. Quill! Mm -hmm. Come here. Come on, look outside. What the hell is that? That! Is the cosmic force field going down? Which sure means we're free to leave, but also means... They're free to enter. Stark aircrafts. AIM ones, too. They're coming from all directions. They're here for the cube. And right about now, there's enough of it to go around. Yeah, look, if the cube can trance someone as unflappable as me, imagine what it'll do to these jokesters. Oh, Iron Man suit! Oh, it's Tony's niece, Judy Stark. The one I keep trying to avoid a confrontation with. Too bad for her. She chose the wrong day to pick a fight with me. Which of these buildings has the cube, Matt Thinker? Complex equation. Everything here seems fluid. The buildings change in real time. Keep an eye out for... Now you tell me? Where the hell did that building come from? The structures in this false city seem to appear and disappear with no clear pattern. The cube's doing? Odds are, yes. The cube is in disarray and or the current wielder has erratic untrained tendencies. Great. Love a loose cannon. Where do we attempt entry? Based on heat signatures and the triangulated architecture detail, I'd say 64% in the Baxter building up ahead, 32% Avengers Mansion on your right. Cute. What's the other 4%? There is a 4% chance the cube is no longer present. No longer present? Are you kidding me? Where would it be? Well... Judith, 9 o'clock. Judith Stark. You have been a persistent thorn in my side. A disgrace to your country. A stain on the entire human race. Prepare to be justly annihilated. Well performed, Super Adaptoid. Almost human, even. Did you rehearse that? In front of your LMDs, I imagine? Tell me, once I destroy you, are you recyclable or do you go right in the trash? I find it hard to take you seriously while you are playing dress up in Uncle's old work clothes. And you're mimicking them because your whole raison d'etre is pretending to be other people. People who are better than you in every conceivable way. <laughs> 
Oh, it has feelings. You know, being so emotional isn't a good trait for the president. Luckily, I have an ironclad temperament. The presidency will never be yours. Nor will you ever be Iron Man. The truth is, I'm not Iron Man. But I am going to get that cube. Then I'll have more power than you or my uncle could ever dream of. Now prepare to be justly annihilated, you overpriced microwave. Kate! Kate, where are you? Clint? Kate! Are you okay? I'm okay, I think. Oh. Kate Bishop? As in the lady we came here looking for? Nice! I am so happy to hear your voice. Me too. Your voice, I mean. It's not like I love the sound of my own voice or anything. Where's Ash? Is she okay? Yeah, she's okay. Well, okay as long as the world doesn't end. Good. Wait, what? The world might end? What are we doing here? Looking for you. At least, at first, I thought you were dead. I think I actually might have been for a minute. Things got real weird. Natasha? You're alive? Yeah, things got real weird for me, too. It's a long story. Best heard once we're out of this mess. I'm Star-Lord. By the way, I heard a lot about you. I was old Hawkeye's wingman in his quest to find you. Got dicey. And dare I say, we even learned a thing or two. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Whoa! Okay, story time is over. Okay, can you move? I'm a little weak, but yeah. Great. Look, we're gonna need your help getting these people out of here as far away as you can. Can you do that? It's literally what I do best. Remember Canada? Oh, how can I forget? Are you not coming? Uh, things could get ugly here. We need to hold the line. Defend the cube at all costs. Copy that. I'll come back once I get them all out. No, no, no. You stay with these people. Keep them safe. <sighs> I just got you back, Kate. Promise me. Promise you won't return to this place. Oh, fine. I get it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I better jump up here and talk to these people. They seem real confused. <clears throat> listen up! Everybody listen up, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, listen up. We don't have much time here. So you've all only been taken prisoner in some way or another by a uh, pissed off immortal lady child using this here cosmic cube, right? So Kate here, Kate's gonna get y'all to safety before this whole place blows, right? That's right. Let's move, people. Let's go. Come on, you two. Let's go. Look after him, Natasha. Star guy. It's Star Lord. Yeah. Uh. Well, now what? Doom. Hey, where are you, Bat? And what's with the bum leg? There's little time to explain. You're all in yeah. grave danger. <laughs> yeah, all right, pal. Take a look at the cube. While you were playing hooky, we handled it. Valeria is far more calculated than you could ever imagine. If you were able to get to the cube, it's because she permitted it. Now the cube, it called out to me, seeking a new master. Cube and Valeria must have had a breakout. What the hell is that? Oh, come on, man. I'm getting some good licks on Doom here. Oh. The cube. It's reforming. It's exactly as I predicted. Valeria's summoning back the cube. And now it's more volatile than ever. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What, so it's hers again? It was always hers, boy. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, this was all for nothing? Uh, not necessarily. If you listen to me, I may have one last play. And why would we listen to a murderer like you? It's the only way I see you getting out of here alive. Yeah? If you care so much about our well-being, where were you when Logan died? The energy still radiating from his claws. The cube did this? Yes. He saved us. Saved them all. Interesting. If this unstable cube was able to bring death to the immortal, 
Perhaps Valeria isn't as invincible as she believes herself to be. Oh, I can't listen to this. Somebody get him out of here. My condolences on your friend, but it precisely illustrates my point. I assure you, whatever Valeria has in store next will be far worse. Will you get to the point already, Doom? What exactly are you asking for? I need your help. Ah. Oh. One final collaboration. Let me guess. Based off you coming in here all wobbly, you want to use us as live bait again. Uh-huh. This guy is unreal. We'll take our chances without you. Not bait. I simply need you to handle what's happening out there while I focus on Valeria. I'm too injured to perform physical combat with those fools clad in iron. But Valeria, that will be a dance of magic and intellect, which I have in abundance. I'm not leaving Logan, so take your magical dance and shove it up that wobbly metal ass of yours. <laughs> Call back! You burned. <sighs> Dr. Doom does not expect your trust. <sighs> but consider this. In exchange for your cooperation, I will attempt to resurrect your friend. If you leave at once to accomplish your task. Are we in agreement? Nat, this is your call to make. Deal. But if you're up to something, I will kill you myself. Yeah, what she said! Well, here we are. Back to where we started. The streets of this bizarre, newest, old New York City. You good, Nat? Yep. You said Judy meant something to you. We'll try our best to take her in if we can. There is no inn anymore. I wish I saw that sooner. She made her bed coming here. It's on us to make sure nobody else gets hurt, even if that means taking her out. I'm with you. Let's hope nobody gets hurt. All right, then. We was ready to do some rock-solid hero stuff. <laughs> Avengers! I know, but I kind of was. Go! Survived hundreds of years only to fall the moment you punched above your weight. I'm not going to save you, old man, but these claws. Mm. Supercharged with cosmic energy may come in handy. Judith Stark, 
The Cosmic Cube will be the Super Adaptoids alone. Over my dead body, you soulless robot. Android, whatever the hell you are. I am your downfall. <laughs> Widow, Quill, which one of you had get sandwiched between Judy Stark and the Super Adaptoid in a fight on their to-do list today? Because I know I should... Hawkeye, Quill, look out! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We see you, Doom. Who? Oh. <laughs> oh. Flailing his arms like whips, Reed Richards. Or rather, his likeness. Take another look, Victor. Am I Reed Richards? Or the ever-loving blue-eyed thing? Oh. Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Nick Bernadone. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova, Craig Bierko as Captain America, Sharice Booth as Jean Grey, Amber Grey as Judy Stark, Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid, Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards, Nadine Malouf as Cora, Danny McCarthy as Iron Man, James Meredith as Reed Richards, Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards, Jeff Perry as narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. Jane Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Radlett Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al Rahim. KT People and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers Alex Berner Cole and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Law PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, and Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wade Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a SAG after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. What the hell is that? That is the cosmic force field going down. Which sure means we're free to leave, but also means... They're free to enter. Stark aircrafts. AIM ones, too. They're coming from all directions. They're here for the cube. And right about now. There's enough of it to go around. Yeah, look, if the cube can trance someone as unflappable as me, imagine what it'll do to these jokesters. Oh! Oh, did you I said it! An Iron Man suit? What? Oh, it's Tony's niece, Judy Stark. The one I keep trying to avoid a confrontation with. Which of these buildings has the cube, Matt Thinker? Complex equation. Everything here seems fluid. The buildings change in real time. Keep an eye out for... Cease your hostilities, Judith Stark. 
The cosmic cube will be the super adaptoids alone. Over my dead body, you soulless robot. Android. Whatever the hell you are. I am your downfall. Please. I've been hit harder by falling pine cones. Activate comm unit. Matt Thinker, are you getting this? Ah, there you are, Judith. I'd estimated a 98% probability that you'd forget calling me mad inclines me to ignore you, and a 94% probability that you'd be reaching out to me at this time. Thinker! Tell me the Super Adaptoid's going to run out of ammo soon. As I've suggested, Miss Stark, I cannot. In this cosmic cube construct of a city, with cube energy ricocheting everywhere, anything is possible. You can quite imagine how frustrating that is for someone like me who traffics in certainties. If your fortune-telling math is so useless here, I might as well hang up. Not at all, Miss Stark. I'm receiving a definite impression. Heroes Unleashed, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Star-Lord, and Kate Bishop preventing both you and the Super Adaptoid from securing the cube. Preventing? We're 30 stories up. They look like ants. They can't fly. Correct. Yet they are about to deduce something very important about our surroundings. What? What is it? Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 9, Crossfire. Widow, Quill, which one of you had get sandwiched between Judy Stark and the Super Adaptoid in a fight on their to-do list today? Because I know I should- Hawkeye, Quill, look out! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was too close. Look, we gotta keep what's left of the cube away from Stark and the Adaptoid. Judy could seriously punch down with it, and the Adaptoid, he could literally absorb its power because trust me, that is in his skill set. If one of those two lays hands on it, they are not going to play nice. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely got to punch something soon. But how do we join a dogfight in the sky? Ain't happening unless we grow wings. Pal. We can stand here and bicker, hey. or we can analyze our surroundings. There's something here we can use. There always is. Look. Think. Okay, Tasha. We're in Midtown Manhattan. That's not where we are. Valeria's recreation. Exactly. Like a theme park made from nostalgia for the New York she grew up in. Crowded, filthy, expensive. And maybe you'd be happier back in Doomwood? Quill's right. It's all of those things. Mm. See? But those are just chords playing in the background. The theme is... What? Us. Heroes everywhere. Valeria's New York childhood memories of her family, their friends, their enemies, Thor, the Hulk, the Watcher, Submariner, a time when anything could happen. Uh... Anything. Hang on. You can fly? Were you gonna tell us? Look around you, Quill. There's still a little ambient cube energy in the air from when Wolverine fractured it. Use it. Picture yourself rising up, up, and... Oh. Holy jam... Holy jamolkies. Oh, you got me believing. Tinkerbell! I'm flying! We all are! Oh, 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 look at that flying! Woo! You're good, Tasha. I know. With all that cube energy floating about, there's no natural law here right now except for Val's wishes. And what she's wishing for is a new age of superheroes. I don't think she's too fussy about what their powers are, so take advantage of that. Imagine yourself some new abilities. Don't assume there's anything you can't do. Test your limits. Oh! Whoa! 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 Yeah. Whoa. We're flying! Whoa. Under our own Whoa. power! Just like <laughs> Cannonball! Cannonball? That's the first flying hero you can think of? All right, fine. Just like, just like Captain Marvel. 
She can fly? Better. Let's go! Hey! You! Super Adaptoid! Here's my Super Fistoid! Here's my Super Fistoid, please. <laughs> yeah, you know. Superhero banter, punch the faces, crack the jokes. It's in the job description, dude. Uh, here's a magic wish. I wish you were actually funny. Come on! Let's get to punching Judy! Oh, God, well, I tried. Oh, is this your life? Just waiting for me to say things so you can tell me they're stupid? If it makes you feel better, it's not a life I've chosen. Magnetic concussion arrows, not. <laughs> Bullseye. Bullseye. Bullseye on the Iron Lady. Fingers in your ears, everybody. Armor, damage report. Explosions reduced defenses by one-fifth. That circus trash and his stupid arrows. Do you not see what he and his friends did? What you can, too? What? You are in the city of marvels, Miss Stark, where the air smells like cosmic energy, and any ability you desire is merely a wish away. Go ahead, treat yourself. Think of a power. You knew this all along and didn't tell me. Just think of a power. <sighs> okay. Let's try this, then. <sighs> you, Judith Stark. Even the reassembled fragments of the cube, more unstable than ever, expand Doom's awareness. Doom hears you, and you are absurd. Trying to capture the cube with a guttural hulk smash, as if brute force could win it for you. No, the chase requires so much more. A mind and a will in a spirit unbreakable. One that survived three decades in a prison built by one who must be punished. One I now use the power of the cube to summon before me. Where... Where am I? I... Oh... Oh, God. No. Mm. Uh. Oh, yes, the mad thinker. Surprised for the first and last time in his life. Stark's lapdog. I, I, the man who calculates all the odds. The man who was my jailer. Hmm. No, please. No. Did you really expect me to believe that a mere commoner could concoct a prison that would hold me for 30 years? No. He must have had help. Information. Calculations. No, no! Uh, uh, from you. Uh, uh, I beg of you, don't. I, I, I'm sorry. Mm. It, it was merely to remove you as a threat. It... it didn't work. No! Ah. That was not as glorious as it should have been. There are shards of the cube still unaccounted for. Destroyed by the adamantium, perhaps? Or in the nuclear explosion? Could the radiation have fused some fragments to Valeria herself? Binding enough of the cube's energies to her to grant her some of its power, even at a distance? Diminishing the cube itself? That will not stand. Doom will reclaim that energy. 
Alas, leaving no one alive to witness this world-changing assumption of power that will be celebrated for ages. We uh, see you, Doom. Who? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, flailing his arms like whips, Reed Richards, or rather, his likeness. Take another look, Victor. Am I Reed Richards? Or the ever-loving blue-eyed thing? Uh, ah! uh, oh. oh, Valeria. Still calling upon this faux family. Four self-styled heroes in one chameleon body, huh? Who are you calling a lizard, you creep? It's clobbering time! Uh, no, wait! I got a better idea! Ben Grimm can hammer your lights out, but the Human Torch can light you up! Flame on! Uh, what do you know about family bonds, Doom? Or any kind of love at all. What's, what's with the one in the armor? Judy Stark must have figured out the city's power and used it to go green. Oh, you're kidding me. Of all the ugly things to wish for. Guys, a little exposition, please. She's, She's a, a Hulk. Hulk in flying armor. Is that all? Big deal. I know what to do. Quill, you idiot. Sean Lord! Susan Richards, you... Uh, 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 force field spikes uh, in your chest. Uh, How many Latvarians did you punish with this same enthusiasm? Uh, stop it, fool. Cube, uh, oh, protect me. Why won't you? I said protect me. Protect... Uh, 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 Ah, and you cycle back to Richards. Always Richards, ready to foolishly attack with your bare hands. Where is your atomic space displacer, or even your demolo gun? Do you remember those? Of course not, Valeria was yet unborn. What she must think of the inventive Mr. Fantastic now... Recasting him as an unthinking brute. So blindly stupid as to flog an armored man. Shut up! <laughs> Just shut up! Oh! oh. <laughs> Going for the throat. <laughs> A touch more rational, at least, if not less savage. This is me judging you, dude, <laughs> not the reverse. Do you know what you are? A dream of Valeria's? <laughs> Sentenced to dissolve like filth down a drain once our encounter ends? Does that knowledge give you pain? Liar! I'm... I will tell you what hurts. That Valeria could desire this even unconsciously, after all I've done for... <sighs> Does no one think anything through anymore? My formidable armor bears such an array of weaponry, it took a moment to settle on using its heating element. <sighs> Worry not, foe Richards. The pain will not endure, nor, alas, will you. Victor! Ah, I am coming for you, Valeria. No more subterfuge. No more tricks. Let us have this out. Sure. Come over. I'll let you find me. We'll have this out. My ultimate godlike power versus your whatever. <laughs>
<laughs> Hulk Quill versus Hulk Judy Stark? <laughs> I don't know who to put my money on. Case, I told you not to come back. Oh, did you really think I'd miss a Hulk fight? Oh. Well, maybe we could settle this with less collateral damage. The prisoners? are mostly out. We just have to keep the smashing away from the border. You think my leg's small? My leg's big! Star-Lord has strongest legs in world! What do we do? Become Doctor Strange? Better. Now you're pulling stuff out of thin air? Uh, take your time. Why did you... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow! Ow! Let go of me, you robot freak! Yeah, super adaptoid has me. I could use an assist here. Hang in there, Clint. I have to do something about the Hulks here before they level the city. Eat pim particles, you two. Stark no think so. Stark and Star Lord shrinking. Star Lord not want to be little. Stark smash. Judy yeah. hurts Star Lord. Never give Star Lord peace. Star Lord smash Judy. Cute. <laughs> Mini hawks. Kate, the adaptoid still has Clint. Clint, we're on our way. <clears throat> I'm all right. I'm all right. I have no fear of bows and sticks, Archer. <laughs> you mean arrows? Screw the arrows. I'm fighting android with android. Hey, hey, Tosh, you remember when the vision used to do this? I turned my hand intangibles. I plunge it into the chest of this loser. And I make it dense as adamantium. Gross. But he still hasn't dropped you. Let me help. Shrinking? You're the wasp? No. I'll fly into his ear and drive him insane. Stupid flesh bag. You think you can beat the super adaptoid at mimicry? I call upon the power of Blastar, the living bomb burst. building. This time, precisely as I remember it. To tread these halls again feels suspiciously pleasing. The sight of so many humiliations, of battles lost. Am I simply longing after youth? Nostalgia. The enemy of forward motion, of consequence. When I control the cube, I will expunge its poison from the very depths of my being, of everyone's. <sighs> she offers the elevator. A strange new experience to be an invited guest. I was usually forced to attack from above. Hmm. Floor, please. Uh, is this a joke? 31st floor lounge. Ms. Richards awaits. Uh, silence this irritating music. Si silence. I... I said silence. Doom demands it. Say, si si silence. <laughs> How dare you turn the music up? I regulate volume, temperature, and other variables according to instructions. So, Valeria, reverting to childish pranks in her time of greatest power. How chilling. Hmm. What 
possible motive could she have for accepting my challenge and for leaving the place wide open to me? Even the Richard Simulacrum was no threat. Hmm. Is it all a joke? A threat? A plea? I would not know. I am entirely concerned with vertical travel. Other matters hold no relevance. I was not asking you. Is there a third party here? I was talking to myself. For a purpose? It often helps. <sighs> what happened to the music? Valeria! I, what happened I... to the music in the elevator? The passenger destroyed the sound system with an energy discharge. Is this true? Certainly. Huh. Elevator, rebuild. <laughs> ah. When I was little, I used to ride up and down for hours just to listen to Roger Williams, 101 Strings, <sighs> Percy Fay. Valeria, those are a far cry from the dross you just foisted upon me. And you did no such thing. Oh. Cease your mockery. Mockery? Who am I mocking? You? What would my passion for Montavani have to do with you? That weak, cruel, and stupid Reed Richards mannequin. Did that have to do with me? You have been pelting me with absurdities and foolishness. As if doom is not to be taken seriously. Okay. Here's dead serious for you. Where's the cube, Victor? I assumed you might know. Oh, I think I do. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got enough juice in me to keep you pinned to that wall, Victor, so stop struggling. What the hell was that? Oh. I can see something out the window. It looks like... Oh, 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 oh man! Is that the super adaptoid? Uh, or, I guess, what's left of him? <laughs> I don't know what he did to make the boom, but it didn't do him any favors. He's pretty busted up. <laughs> Are you seeing this? He's lurching through the air like a seasick toddler. <laughs> well, I guess everyone's having a bad day. Right, Victor? My child, we can work... Together, to find... Oh, a... together. Oh, my God. Why don't you just skywrite your plans? You never work together with anyone you don't already have the knives out for. It's always you. Just you. Assuming that only you can solve a problem. <laughs> it's your tell, Victor. The more arrogant you are, the more likely you're hiding something. What are you... Right you... Now, you are hiding... I... Valeria, you mistake my intentions. Uh -huh. Doom is... Full of crap. Uh. Here we go. The cube uh. hidden in your cloak. Uh. Only you would be cocky enough to bring it this close to me, thinking you could trick me somehow. <laughs> no. uh. 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 Valeria, I, I am... Oh, Victor, I don't uh. care what you are. You can be mad, sad, numb, whatever... It doesn't matter. Do you want to see? No. <laughs> You're no more to me than a buzzing fly. And yet you refrain from swatting me. Why is that? Your family simulacrum was no threat at all. You want me here. Why have you been paying such attention to this buzzing fly? What is it you want, Valeria? What? You do not know. Everything you have done or let happen, the nuclear weapons, the city, the threats to me, it is all meaningless by itself. So why did you go to the effort? You tell me. Practice. <laughs> you are practicing your use of the cube, erratic as it can be. You want total mastery, no unforeseen consequences, which suggests that your ultimate goal is too critical to risk getting wrong. 
So you restore this age of heroes, or a caricature of it, because the restoration you intend means more to you. We both know what that means, and I will not allow it. Flame on. I command you as your mentor, as the last surviving member of We Who Raised You, as the one who delivered you at birth, do not attempt to bring back your family. It's clobbering time. Shield of the Seraphim. Oh, you're breaking out the sorcery. Nice. Stop this foolishness. I should be family enough for you. That's what you think? That I'm doing all this to bring my parents back? I thought you were figuring it all out. I really did. You seemed like the years had made you smarter. But you took all the right steps to the wrong conclusion. Still as dumb as Dad thought you were. He never thought that. He was stupid, too! Why would I ever bring him back? Hmm? All of his so-called genius? And he couldn't figure out a way to beat Franklin without murdering him? Franklin! Your brother! You want him back? <laughs> what are you laughing at? So your, your chaotic efforts have a purpose. A pathetic one. Resurrecting that unworthy, obnoxious brother of yours. Shut up! <laughs> My worst fear was that your weak, incoherent actions had no ultimate aim at all. Just your fragile personality disintegrating into randomness. I do not care if you resurrect your conceited fool of a brother. Conjure whatever playthings might make you happy. But I cannot watch you destroy yourself. Oh, typical man. The woman's too powerful. We have to take it all away, and if she dies, well, that's just poetic. No, we're not doing that. What's really going to happen is... What is... What is that? What, what? Feel that? What is that? It's it sounds like it it's coming from me. Yeah. Is it is it <laughs> is that my heart? Sure is. But it sounds it's faster. Yeah. And faster. Yeah. And louder. You're going to die, Victor. What? Yeah, and not pleasantly. <laughs> I don't know exactly how. Maybe, uh, I don't know, a series of strokes or. Ooh, cardiac arrest? Stop! Stop. Valeria! Stop! No! No! I don't want this! Oh, that, no. that makes me sad. It does. It does make me sad. Believe me. Now, there is just one more thing before you go um, to your death. Do you remember my first word? Yes, yes, I, it, it was, it was doom. Mm. And we, what do we think your last word should be? My, hmm? my last? You better hurry up. Uh, think about va, it. Va, uh-huh. Valeria. Valeria, my... Valeria, now Dalgurakalakator, Kalakator! A boomerang spell? You bastard! How long have you had that bullet in the chamber, huh? Since before you walked in, I bet. You... Victor? Where are you? I know you're still here. You never leave empty-handed. That's not your style. Huh? Victor! 
You always, always said, said you could, could see, see right, right through, through me, Valeria. Valeria. Where are you? Oh, you're, you're quite, quite right. right, right, right. You're, you're doing, doing it now. Show yourself! So, so I, I shall. shall. Ah! 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 What is this? Oh, you won't show yourself to me, but you... Ah! Just because I can't see you doesn't mean I can't fight you! Ah, you should know by now. Show yourself. Oh, I see how it is. And now that you get what you want, then you show yourself. Are those? That's what you slashed me with. Where did you get this? adamantium claws? The bounty of Wolverine's withered corpse. Invulnerable even to the cube's power. <laughs> Just a reminder, Valeria. Always account for an enemy's weapons. Something you should have ordered the cube to do. While you still had it. No, Victor, no! You can't have it! It's mine! Oh, once again. You fall victim to your greatest weakness, child. The Richards family's most noxious heirloom. An exaggerated sense of entitlement. Give it to me! Ah. What? What is this? Ah. Why? Ah. Ah. Astounding. So bonded have you become with the cube that you can draw it towards you by sheer force of will? But it is not who most desires the cube that determines its ultimate fate. It is who holds it by the chains of Kraken, I bind you! No! No! no. You selfish monster! It belongs to me! It's mine! Uh, uh, I'm afraid not, my dear Valeria. Oh, look. Oh. The world quakes at the realization that the Cosmic Cube is truly, finally, dooms. <laughs> On the next episode of Marvel's Wastelanders. <laughs> and so, inevitably, the Cosmic Cube is truly dooms. The Cube shows me hellfires in which the damnable souls of all those who ever dared oppose me, past or present, from the Avengers to Kingpin and the Red Skull, their trembling, pleading hands outstretched, crushed beneath my iron boot heel. Doom! Doom has the Cosmic Cube. Well, let's go take it from him. What? How hard could that be? You're new here, right? Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Mark Wade. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Maloof as Cora. 
Danny McCarthy as Iron Man, James Meredith as Reed Richards, Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards, Jeff Perry as narrator, Clark Peters as Professor X, Jane Saito as Baron Zemo, Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop, Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Gina Daniels as Invisible Woman, Melissa Gilbert as Elevator Voice, Gabe Ruiz as Human Torch, Tom Sesma as The Thing. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynett. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Denario. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producer is Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Ramo Law PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a sag after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. The following podcast contains strong language and adult themes and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Marvel's Wastelanders. Richard, I beg of you, don't. I, I, I'm sorry. It, it was merely to remove you as a threat. It, it didn't work. The world quakes at the realization that the cosmic cube is truly, finally, dooms. <laughs> Fleshback, you think you can beat the super adaptoid at mimicry? I call upon the power of Blastar, the living bomb burst. What? Huh? I, I, Widow, I can't... I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What? The super adaptoid, Clint. It exploded. And we lived? Yeah, we did. The super adaptoid. Not so lucky. Great. Now to my question. We lived? Yeah, believe it or not. You can thank your protege for that, Kate. Ta-da! I'm gonna need a little more detail. Okay. I'm not the expert on the olden days like you are, Mr. Creaky Knees. Hey! But when the super adapter... Super adaptoid. Whatever. When he said he was about to use the powers of someone named Blastar, the living bomb burst, it didn't take a history expert to figure he was about to explode, right? But we can have whatever superpower we want now, yeah? I like where this is going. Uh Uh-huh. So as quick as I could, I made us all tough and badass as Captain Marvel. Big boom. Felt like getting hit by a giant mallet. We all fell to the ground as I was zapping him with a power blast. But we lived to tell the tale. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Where's Quill? Still fighting Judy Stark. I shrunk them to a couple inches tall. (laughs) And they're both hawks. (laughs) Where did you hear their voices? Helium City. (laughs) Let's find them and get out of here. (gasps) The hell? What was that? The Cosmic Cube. Take a look at the Baxter building. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. The question is, who's holding the cube? Valeria or Doom? No, 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 no! Don't stop me! 
I was winning. What you are you? not. I was. I was just about to. Ouch. I'm guessing all that sizing up and down sent her suit haywire. <laughs> Guess I won. Well, at least we can write Judy off the list of imminent threats. But with everyone normal sized again, it looks like our impromptu superpowers have vanished. Which means this isn't Val's superhero city anymore. Wait. Wait, where's Logan? I knew it! He didn't save Logan! He lied to us to get to the cube! Who? Doom! Doom has the cosmic cube. Well, let's go take it from him. What? How hard could that be? You're new here, right? Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Chapter 10, Ultimate Power. So, inevitably, the Cosmic Cube is truly dooms! <laughs> and it begins. The Cube shows me hellfires in which the damnable souls of all those who ever dared oppose me, past or present, from the Avengers to Kingpin and the Red Skull, their trembling, pleading hands outstretched, crushed beneath my iron boot heel. Every jewel, every coin, Everything of worth on this planet offered as tribute to doom. Mountains of priceless treasures farther than the eye can see. The mightiest cities of the world crumbling to dust like anthills at my slightest gesture. Their piteous, frail inhabitants screaming for help Wailing for mercy, where there is none! You can't have the cube! It's mine! I need it! Give it to me! Valeria, I release you. But I will never surrender this feeling. The pure ecstatic pleasure of matchless power coursing through me, changing me. I am almighty. I am life supreme. I am a god. I am a god. Every dream I ever dreamed is fulfilled. Every need, every want, answered. Absolute power corrupts, Victor. No. That is the familiar maxim, but no. Absolute power, my dear, enlightens. Corruption is the child of ego and desire. The unbridled power of the cube, its omniscience, has cleansed me of those flaws. Once the most cosmic of goals is within one's reach, pettiness, <laughs> pettiness disappears. This is all an act. You're forgetting I held the cube, too. I had no such epiphany. Knock it off. That is true. The weight of your regrets, of your resentments, and pain. It seems they were too great for even the cube to carry. You never tasted the inner peace it can bring, because you never truly bonded with it. Perhaps because to you, Valeria, power is but a means to an end. Oh, please. What, you love power unconditionally? Well, 
loved power unconditionally. No. You can't have changed that much. There is something else. Hawkeye, Quill, the others. They were temporarily absorbed into the cube. It fed off their turmoil. But I can tell now that more importantly, it fed off their heroic spirit. A new set of drives have influenced the cube, Valeria. Virtue, nobility, courage. And in turn, they are calling to me... to us. No. <laughs> no. It, you're up to something. Oh, I am my goddaughter. I plan to gift you. To heal you, as the cube has rewritten my nature, so shall it yours. What are you doing? <laughs> What's happening? I am making you whole. <laughs> <laughs> Valeria, do you feel the peace? What did you do? What the doom you knew never would have, never could have. I have shared the cube's power. Half is yours, half is mine, irreversibly, forever. Let it change you as it changed me, Valeria. Do you feel it? I... I do! <laughs> the peace! Huh? <laughs> the power! No! <gasps> no, you think you're wielding it, but instead you're resisting it! Give yourself unto its might! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. That felt great. Valeria... <laughs> <laughs> so did that. Oh, hell. You're so right, Victor. Valeria, stop. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Valeria, <laughs> listen to me. There's something in you, something preventing you Look, from... Look, this is your fault. Think back. Why did I originally want the cube so badly? Because I was an unkillable woman looking for something powerful enough to finally end my eternal life. And why was that? Because you were unbearably lonely. <laughs> and how can I be lonely if you won't leave me alone? You're a piece of my past, Victor. You inspired me. Using the cube, I could bring my past to the present. I could surround myself with marvels. Ghosts. Hollow specters made of eroded memories. Valeria, tell me honestly, what do you truly, ultimately want the cube for? I want to use it to bring my brother back. Because your father ended his life. Such a wish sounds uncomplicated, primal. It is. Like the sort of story a child might tell. But you haven't been a child for a long, long time, have you? You give me all this power, and now you want to psychoanalyze me? Get inside my head? For what reason, Victor? I've always loved you. As a goddaughter. You've always used me as a pawn. Until now, I could never see the contradiction. Now, what if you're trying to fool me with your inner peace act? What if you're as bad as you ever were, and you're trying to manipulate me in the service of some horrible goal? Doom now has the power to manifest horrible goals on a whim. I require no pawns. No, I don't trust you. Valeria. I am trying to help you. What the hell was that? <laughs> 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 
dark. Ugly. What? Uh, monsters of a form I do not recognize. I don't believe you. If these really aren't your doing, get us out of here. Very well. Where are we? What did you do? I put most of North America between us and the monsters. We're on the Atlantic coast. Whatever those creatures were, they're long behind us. Uh, uh, I, I hear them, but, but I don't see them. Do you? Uh, flutterings of something above. We shall retreat to some place more remote. <gasps> <laughs> the remote sands of the Sahara. Nothing around us for hundreds of miles. Oh, 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 again. I can almost see their shadows. I'll levitate for a closer look. I would not do that. The cube, remember? I'm invincible. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, get away from her! Valeria, can you speak? Pain. I know. But you can mend. Look inward. Yes. Feel the power. Apply the power. There. I'm all right. You're one with the cube. You know everything now. So what the holy living hell are those creatures? Monstrous manifestations of a presence that is polluting and adulterating the energy of the cube. What presence? You. Then they're my problem to solve. Valeria, don't! I told you not to wade into battle carelessly. I would suggest you take the situation more seriously. What situation? How do you know so much about all this? Near omnipotence might have something to do with it. Well... If you're omnipotent, how about getting rid of the monsters? Near omnipotence. Listen, do you hear that distant jumble of voices? The monsters bring it with them. I wonder what they're saying. Let's find out. Fast enough. How can we stop this creature, Torch? Just wait and see, sister. The Fantastic Four have only begun to fight. The three of you can't do it alone. It's time for the thing to take a hand! It'll take more than ropes to keep Mr. Fantastic out of action. I can't turn invisible fast enough. How can we stop this Just creature, Just wait Torch? and see, sister. The Fantastic Four have only the begun to fight. You can't do it alone. It's time for the thing to take It'll a take hand. It'll take more than it's... ropes to keep Mr. Fantastic It's my family! say the best approach at this point is the direct approach. Let's head to the Baxter building and hope we catch Doom by surprise. It might work. We're off his radar. If we weren't, he would have turned us into his mindless drones by now. Or something equally horrible. Uh, what's that? Something equally horrible. The three of you can't do it alone. It's time for the thing to take a hand. It'll take more than ropes to keep Mr. Fantastic out of action. I can't turn invisible fast enough. How can we stop this creature, Torch? Just wait and see, sister. The Fantastic Four have only begun to fight. What are they? I can barely see these weirdos. Like, I can't look directly at them or something. Can't get a focus. Ah! Ah! Oh, well, they sure can't see us. We gotta deal with Doom's cube and this? One and the same. These are cube energy monsters. 
How do you know? Because while you might not be able to get a good look at these things, these Girl. blind eyes can see them plain as day. Kate, follow my lead. Aim. Fire! <laughs> 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 Nice shooting, Hawkeye. Also, other Hawkeye. You only got a few thousand more to go. Everybody, inside. Hurry! That's your battle cry? Why didn't the Avengers assemble? Because you're here. Well, that's flarked up. Okay, now what? Do we just take the elevator up? Don't be stupid. Judy, you're here. And you'll be glad I am. This isn't the first time my toys have proved useful. It won't be the last. Nat, there's too much at stake. Fine. For now. If we're gonna make lightning strike, we have to move fast. Stand aside. That takes care of the doors. If I still had my blaster boots, we wouldn't even need an elevator. I could just shoot straight up the shaft. Really? Just you? Everybody, grab onto me and hold on tight. Next stop, Penthouse Suites. Mighty quiet. Doom is never quiet. Somebody want to give me the lay of the land? Yeah, uh... On the plus side, uh, there's a lot of cool toys in here and... some superior tunes, so there's that. On the downside, no Valeria, no Doom. Where are we? A more relevant query would be, when are we? That ship! It's... Your father's. Yes. The first extra-governmental space flight decades ago. Long before Stark and his like. Shall we enter? Oh, this ship's behaving like a baby. Everything is perfect. Yeah, except the cosmic rays. No one knows what they'll do. They will transform you into a monster, Mr. Grimm. Young Johnny will burn. Ms. Storm will vanish. And Professor Richards will be putty in fate's hands. This is it, isn't it? The bedtime story they told. The moment of their origin. Hear that? It's radiation. I warned you about it. Cosmic rays? We're not in any danger from... <laughs> Penetrating the hull! Your shielding ain't strong enough! Why are we here? To prove to you that Doom can be trusted. With a snap, I could end their lives right here, right now. I could save myself years of pain, years of ignominy and failure at the hands of a Fantastic Four that would never have existed. And yet, I do not. Johnny, what is it? What's happening to you? My body feels hot, like, like it's on fire. I, I feel like I'm burning up! <laughs> The genesis of the lives that created you. Reflect upon this moment. Deep down, you know that you have never accepted your powerlessness in the face of what happened. That has warped your grief. And it is poisoning you. And through you, everything. By manifesting the monsters. Can't you stop it? Had the creatures sprung from me, I could. But your share of cube power prevents me. Somebody else take the controls! I can't handle the ship anymore! My arms are heavy! Too heavy! Can't move! Too heavy! Ben! Ben! Enough of this! Take your Ghost of Christmas Past act somewhere else. Anywhere! But here, no, Victor. Not this place. Not that day. Let me out of here! I can help! Let me out! Then you remember where we are. We're in hell is where we are! Oh, for God's sake! Don't leave! 
leave me here? A safe room. A prison cell. Mm. This is it. The day the heroes died and the villains won and I'm trapped in the Baxter building. Your family rushed into battle. The only ones capable of subduing your brother who had turned. Your father left you as a sole family member with no special abilities behind to keep you safe. Let me out! Then why are we here? Take me to the battle. Let me save Franklin. Victor, what was that? That power blip. What? It appears I was too modest in assessing the stability of the cube. Flesh and blood is not enough to contain its power. It is no longer enlightening us. It has begun to consume us. Make it stop! I don't have time for this! Take me to save my brother! The cube will honor its ultimate function, Valeria. To recognize your heart's desire and act appropriately. Are you absolutely certain this is what you want? Of course! Very well. There he is. Franklin. Oh no. You're joking, right, Uncle Ben? You thought you could sneak up on me, but oh, you stomp like a dinosaur. Frankie, kid, this ain't you! Something's messing with your head! Shut up, old man! Ben! He's... He's... Dead. Just like Uncle Johnny. Two down, two to go. Oh, Dad. You know. You know there's not a damn thing you can do to stop me. Isn't that right, Mom? <sighs> now we'll never see her again. Franklin, for the love of heaven, that was your mother! Oh no. It really happened. Just like they said. Dad is... It appears he is wrapping his elongated limbs around your brother's throat. <coughs> Son, stop. Don't hurt anyone. Just don't make me do this. This is it. This is the moment Franklin dies. You're here. Fulfill your wish. Use the cube energy to save him. Son, please. I love you. Don't make me kill you. It's the only way to stop me, old man. And you know it. Oh, but you're a rubber man. You have no spine. No! Victor, it's not working! My blasts are doing nothing. I, I'm, I'm like a phantom. Why is this happening? Because... Because you realize what happens if you alter this event. Millions die, and the world will hold your brother responsible. Not even the cube can hold Franklin at bay long enough to prevent that. Franklin, I beg of you! I won't stop with you and Mom. You know who's next, right? No! Yes. Goodbye, Valeria. No! No! I don't want to hear this! Make it stop, Victor! I cannot. God, forgive me. I wouldn't worry about God right now, you murderer. Who? It's me, Father. Valeria? But older. From when? Doesn't matter, Dad. Val. The others, they're... They're... Dead. Oh, I know. You, on the other hand... For God's sake, Valeria, not now. Why not? Because you're about to lose the war with the bad guys? Or because you deserve to? Valeria, I had no choice. Because I wasn't here to help you think of another way. Because you treated me like a helpless little girl and locked me away. Now look at you. He would have destroyed everything. And what did you destroy? You're not hearing me. 
I didn't want to do it. Of course I didn't. My heart is broken. But if I hadn't stopped Franklin... Killed Franklin! Everyone would be dead. And the sad irony is, you will be anyway before the day is out. But you're... You're right. I didn't hear you. I... I heard Franklin. I know now. You did you didn't tear your heart out. Didn't condemn yourself like this to murder Franklin. You did it to save me. I love you, Dad. I miss you. I love you too, Val. I forgive you. (laughs) Guess this is the last stand at the Baxter building. At this point, grudges aside, we're all in this together, so... Okay, Widow, you take my repulsor glove. Quill, I perhaps foolishly trust you with my laser array. Kate, you and Hawkeye take my infrasound cannon and my Omni Beam. <laughs> if I hang on to the armor's smart missiles, that means we're all about as powerful as we're gonna get. Thanks, Judy. Hawkeye, any status change out there? Nope. The monsters are still circling. They could come crashing in here at any minute. This could be our last stand, but at least Judy has us going down as a team. Any last words, anybody? Simnini bez naroda. Come again? It's a Russian proverb. It means, in every flock, there is a black sheep. You're looking right at me. I resent that. Ah! Nat, don't do this. Even in the darkest circumstances, it's ridiculous of you to think you're safe on my watch. If we're all going to die, might as well do the honors with this one. Whoa, whoa, Tasha, save the glove for the monster. She killed Yelena. She murdered my closest friend, my protege, my sister. Oh, okay, but she murdered my father. And you let her, as I recall. I didn't let her. And the only reason I've let you live this long is because we needed you. And that's no longer the case. Hey, hey, hey! You can't do this! Why? If I take her missiles, which I can do easily... Try it. (laughs) This glove can punch a hole through your chest before you can even think about reaching for your trigger. This isn't you, Nat. It's not what Yelena, or Wolverine for that matter, would have wanted. She deserves to die. If I take her missiles, unlike the rest of us, she's useless. We can fight without her. But live or die, I cannot go to my grave knowing she never paid for Yelena's murder. You think I don't regret that, Val? I had good reasons, but I have a conscience, for God's sake. A regret is never punishment enough, Judy. I would know. You tell Yelena I love her. No! Step aside. This is not your concern. It's our concern. For you, Nat. You're tired of killing. You've said so over and over. Because it doesn't heal anything. If we're lucky, there'll be time later to settle accounts, but you've lived a good life, Nat. Done some good, done some bad. Let this be some of the good. Thank you, Clint. Yes, thank you, Clint. (sighs) I'm not going to kill you, Judy, but if we survive this, I want you to become a ghost. You don't get the cube, you'll never be president. And you'll sure as hell never be one of us. Capiche? Fine. I don't want to be one of you anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little therapy session because incoming... The monsters! They've broken through. Hit them with everything you have! Whoa! They vanished? Just like that? Did you use your anti-monster arrow or something? 
Ah, oh, jeez. Bad to worse. Villains in the house. Villains in the house. Don't. Put down your weapons, okay? Against Doom and Valeria Richards? Yeah, right. Calm yourselves. We are no longer a threat to you. Yeah, like we haven't heard that before. Nat, I, 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 think, I think he's telling the truth. Neither of them has the cube, but they are shining. What, uh, is it? They are the cube. <sighs> that we are. They aren't just glowing. They're turning to, I don't know, stardust. Valeria. It is time we make our plans. Where to go as we transcend this mortal state. How to fill our expanded senses. The entirety of the multiverse is ours to experience. Ours. Together. As a family. Why, why, why doesn't that scare the pants off me? <laughs> because we're not the same anymore. And in the glow of the cube, you can feel that. You know that. Wait! Whoa! What? You think you can just leave? After all you've done, the two of you? Huh? After all the lives you've taken? After the, the damage you've done to this planet? You're the cosmic cube. Fix that! The cube was too flawed from the beginning of our adventures to exert that level of control over reality, Clint Barton. But you're not wrong. This world is owed some sort of atonement, Victor. Mm. You know what that should be as well as I do. Do you think we can... Is that now your heart's desire? It is. And... Scene? I guess? Did you feel that? Hmm. As they disappeared to who knows where? Like something... Washing over me. Indescribable. <laughs> Not a word I use often. But whatever it was... It felt kind of good. Empowering, almost. What? Wait, wait, wait! Where did the building go? Where are we now? I think we're right where we were before. Just minus Valeria's crazy architecture. All the bystanders look like they've been teleported home. And we're in the middle of the California wilderness, like it was before all this started. Ah, but without wheels. How far to the border? Only one way to find out. I hope everyone's ready for a good, long hike. Let's go. Come on, Quill, do you think this is appropriate? When's it not appropriate to get down? When it's Logan's funeral? Show some respect. Look, I'm just DJing. He would have wanted me to. Where'd you get that idea? Dude, he was the wild man Wolverine. The best there was at what he did. But what he did wasn't very nice. Shit! <laughs> the man loved to party. No, no, he didn't. Yeah, no, he did. I saw him with beer many times. And how many times did he offer you one? Uh, uh, uh zero? Because he drank alone, even in a crowd. That's how he liked it. It was never a party. Logan might get mad, get dirty, get bored. Get drunk, even. But you never, ever saw him get down. You're right. Hey, turn that back on. Uh, but Logan wouldn't have wanted it. I don't think he gets a vote anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you come from? I am Groot. Yeah, from little old space seed Hawkeye rescued for me. Say hi to my buddy. I am Groot. Oh, cute. <laughs> right? Now, how about some more music, Quill? Star-Lord. What? Look, when we're hanging with our fellow Avengers... You were never an Avenger. Yeah, well, Thor would disagree, but my point is, I respect you enough to call you Black Widow, not uh, whatever whatever your name is. At an event like this, right? What? Just say it. I am Star-Lord. I am Groot. I am dancing. <laughs> 
Have there been any sightings of Valeria or Doom? You don't feel them? Huh? Ah, they're everywhere. Don't get all hippie quill on me. Unless, what have you heard about what they're calling the worldwide surge? Think back to what Judy called that feeling we all got when Doom and Valeria said their farewell. A uh, feeling of empowerment. I, uh, I don't think it stopped with us. News reports are a little patchy, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, random people around the globe seem to be transforming into, into something superhuman. Giants, people who stretch, burst into flame, shrink, fly, blast energy, and more. Like the old age of heroes. Like the new age of heroes, if we play it right. I want to track down as many as I can, size them up, make sure they have what they need, know what they should do. Hmm, sounds like a huge undertaking for an old blind guy. She isn't wrong. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, dummy. What we mean is, you don't have to do it alone. What? We have resources. We can help. Okay, then. I'm not about to argue. Quill, over here. Raise your glasses, everyone. To new beginnings. To, to new, new beginnings. beginnings! I am Groot! Marvel Entertainment and Series XM present Marvel's Wastelanders. Starring Dylan Baker as Doctor Doom, Timothy Busfield as Star-Lord, Stephen Lang as Hawkeye, Robert Patrick as Wolverine, and Susan Sarandon as Black Widow. Directed by Kimberly Sr. Original sound design by 1,000 Birds. Original music by Lindsay Jones. Story by Mark Wade. Written by Mark Wade. Featuring performances by Eva Amori as Yelena Belova. Craig Bierko as Captain America. Sharice Booth as Jean Grey. Amber Gray as Judy Stark. Daniel Jenkins as Super Adaptoid. Rebecca Naomi Jones as Valeria Richards. Nadine Malouf as Cora. Danny McCarthy as Iron Man. James Meredith as Reed Richards. Jaden Michael as Franklin Richards. Jeff Perry as Narrator. Clark Peters as Professor X. James Saito as Baron Zemo. Tracy Toms as Kate Bishop. Larry Yando as Mad Thinker. Additional performances in this episode by Gina Daniels as Invisible Woman. Ramiz Monsef as Root. Gabe Ruiz as Human Torch. Tom Sesma as The Thing. With additional voices performed by Ryan Bartley, Daphne Gaines, Shane Sweet, Bruce Wynette. Produced by Jenny Rattlet Mass, Brad Barton, M.R. Daniel, Larissa Rosen, and Lydia Smith. Our production manager is Libby Felch. Associate production manager is Fred Carlos. Our script supervisor is Julia Ireland. Casting by Elaine Aldaffer and Lisa Donadio. Audio post-production by 1000 Birds. Our lead sound designer is Jackie Zoe. Recording, sound design, and mixing by Torin Geller, Haley Livingston, Mira Al-Rahim, KT People, and Jackie Zoe. Dialogue editing by Tom Barrett. Our audio post producers, Alex Berner Cole, and our executive producers are Gwen Freeling and Kira McKnight. Additional engineering provided by Beat Street NYC, Sound Lounge, Underground Audio, The Relic Room, Big Orange Sheep, Soundproof Studios, Studio Tulum, Mobile Mics, Studio Awesome, This Is Sound Design, Philadelphia Post, Tightrope Recording, Studio Media. Original score composed by Lindsay Jones. Music clearance by Christine Berggren and Allison Farrar. Production legal by Chad Russo and Cooper Ward with Raymo Law, PC. Payroll services by Violet Romero and ABS Payroll. Executive produced by Dan Buckley, Joe Casada, Sarah Amos, Dan Fink, Stephen Wacker, Ellie Pyle, and Jill Dubuff. Special thanks to Jordan Boatman, Cliswood Brucer, Matt DeCaro, Ethan Duden, Kirsten Fitzgerald, Molly Hager, Dan Hartley, Shane Kenyon, Danny McCarthy, James Meredith, Deanna Myers, 
Abby Pierce, Barbara Robertson, Ron Rogel, Gabe Ruiz, Liz Sharp, Guy Van Swearingen. My name is Tim Rose. Marvel's Wastelanders is a production of Marvel Entertainment and Sirius XM in association with Wave Runner Studios. For more information, visit marvel.com slash wastelanders. This podcast was recorded under a SAG after a collective bargaining agreement. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast.